Uh, okay. Um, should be back up and running. Let me know. Let me how to, how this looks because I I tinkered some stuff. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, because was it my uh my actual bitrate settings were way too low. And since I'm streaming off the Elgato rather than running a PC game, I can switch over to software encoding. It just will look much better. Okay. Uh, so, first time, like, <laughs> new playthrough of I means we have to do the obligatory. Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. It's Kagami, sir. Hey, what's your name? It's Kagami, sir. Hey, what's your name? Kagami. Hey. What's your name? Are you serious? It's Kagami! Do I have to say it? Have we? <laughs> Nah. What's your name? Hey, what'd you say your name was? Hey. Hello? Hey, I know you can hear me, Kagami. So you do know my name. <laughs> Not yet, sir. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. Don't worry. Every time I see him, we'll be doing it. Oh, whoops. I didn't even think... Hold on, let me just resize a little bit. There we go. That way it doesn't cut off any tech that runs over to the side. Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. From the case six years ago. The case six years ago? Ah uh, yes, from the case six years ago. <laughs> Doesn't elaborate. Ends discussion. Are you serious? You're Special Agent Kaname Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Doc. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. It's unusual for this time of year. But it'll be hard to find any usable prints. Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. Alright, so, hold on. I have to bring in something. Let's go into the file here. Persons. Forty-two years old. This is what we call a base video game. Also skills, grasping people's weaknesses, applying pressure, and making them obey. <laughs> oh god, I love this. Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. Let's see the corpse. 
Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. There we go. <laughs> That's Iba. I forgot about that pun. God damn it. <laughs> Want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically dis. Oh, close. All right. Let's enhance. Pupil dilation and corneal turbidity indicate the victim is dead. I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? Yes, you are right. Uh, which I think the game actually even mentions outright in uh, regards to I meeting love. I'm just upset. I knew her. I know. Remember that I also saw her several times, though it has been quite some time since we last saw her. The left eye socket is vacant. Yeah, remember what I said about Igor? Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye? The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, we don't know that for sure. Uh, come on. There we go. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. When she was still alive. <laughs> they carved it out while she was still alive? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Correct. The eyeball has also not been recovered from the scene. So the killer took it with them? That is highly likely. Why would they do that? I believe answering those kinds of questions is your job, Special Agent Dante. We've only known Iba for five minutes. Less than that, and she's already flexing her absolute sex. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death? Blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth. Like an ice pick. I can make a joke there, I'm not going to. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? Let's see what's in there. Date, use me to see through the column. Utilize the x-ray mode. <sighs> oh no. Just me. It appears as though someone is inside. Shut up! Hey! I know you're in there! If you get- Oh shit. <laughs> it won't budge! It may be locked from the inside. Damn it! Hey! Whoever's in there, stay back! That gun is still the coolest shit ever. I really wish that they would have made like an actual life prop for it. Izuki. Also, yeah, uh, I, have to, I have to say when I first played this, it was pretty insane. Like, even despite very clearly being still made on a budget, it's so much better looking than Zero Time Dilemma was. Despite being on Unity, which, I mean, shit, it's a good engine. At least, you know, when it's actually put into the right hands. 
What is this place? This is your dream. I'm... me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'd help. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, that's a thing, actually. I mean, at least your time eleven sold well. Uh, yes, yeah, three years, because your time eleven was, uh, 2016. I'll be honest, I somehow forgot about this. Where do I even start with this? I can answer all of your queries. All right, then. Who are you? I'm me, of course. <laughs> yeah, me. I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? What are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What yeah, are you doing that. in my dream? You called me. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. This. Do you recognize this room? No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Somnium scan! Activate! She said it. She said the thing. Hmm. Got it. Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. Oh, also, uh, don't worry for any first time viewers, I won't, I won't actually go heavy on any sort of, uh, future spoilers, I'll, I, which also <laughs> applies to the reverse, try not to spoil anything in chat, I don't really think anyone My will, just, have uh, several just as a warning. Mental locks. mental locks? Also, yeah, the fucking, <laughs> the 999, like, puzzle intro sound. Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several like layers. Is. Each layer stands upon a foundation. A base, think of these foundations as mental blocks. Or simply, locks, for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Well, I suppose that is true, but... All right, let's do this. <laughs> the horny is looking through. Also, yeah, uh, for anyone who hasn't played this, this is the main gameplay, aside from the, you know, visual novel bits. Where you basically just, like, you actually walk around and solve the puzzles this time, as opposed to Zero Escape, where you had, like, fixed camera angles. Alright, let's investigate. It appears all I have to do is open this door. Touch it. 
that is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnium. A reality built by dreams. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. Yeah, I get, I, I get it, but also I think that if it wasn't time limited, it would make, especially a lot of the later Somniums, way too easy. I suppose I will have to explain. Which uh, also means I might embarrass myself live on stream. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. So, one second. Okay. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Also, yeah, I've seen very little of Nirvana Initiative. I mean, because I've, like, I've just been trying to say Queen. But it looks much, much more varied and also just, like, overall cleaner. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. Mystery Man. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. Yeah, I've, I've been seeing various people posting about uh, Hidden Bats, and I've thankfully heard it's not actually, it seems like it's not a spoiler for main game, but I've still been avoiding just in case. There are thorns on the switch. Alright, let's, let's try and pull the thorns. Great idea. Of course. Things must be done in order. Before activating the switch, the thorns must be removed. Ouch! The thorns won't come out! You were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep this up? Something like that. Alright, what about this winter iris? A winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. <laughs> uh, let's smell it. Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. Also, yes, uh, Nirvana Initiative comes out in a week. It's actually why I decided to start streaming this now. Uh, hopefully make good enough progress that we finish in time, and then I can just go right ahead and stream Nirvana Initiative when it hits. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. Great phrasing. What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? <laughs> Get ready for a lot of really good faces, by the way. But you haven't even seen the best one from him. <laughs> Alright, now we should be able to get the switch. The thorns are gone. Just turn it on. Now I can activate the switch. <gasps> Woman! Isn't this rewarding, Date? 
Another place you can touch. Would rather be sleeping. Yeah, we turned on a light. Alright, we have a second one to do. A glass of wine. Let's have a sip. Leave it to me. Hey. It's Saturday night. <laughs> Why is an AI getting drunk? <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Date diss me all the time? <laughs> oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. <laughs> A basket. I cannot see inside it. Well, there's only one answer to this. Leave it to me. It is dark. I cannot see anything. I see a dumb AI and a skeleton. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. Let's try, let's try lifting it. It won't move. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. The tears won't stop. Must be allergies. <laughs> You're just sleepy. Okay. Yes, uh... Was it? She absolutely does a great job as Ima. <laughs> a skeleton. It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Let's talk to it. To the skeleton? You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello, my name is Iba. What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. Hey. Don't ignore me, stupid bony man. Your mother is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony. Are you finished? My disappointment is immeasurable. <laughs> a I have to fucking rebuild the screenshot folder because I had it on my old Switch. I, I fucking lost all of them. <laughs> Oh yeah, we only need to barely talk them. Um, I actually. Oh wait. A lamp. It looks like. But how? I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream, I don't get what I want. In fairness, this is your memory, but this is not your house. It's somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have no idea. It could be anyone. Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness, but oftentimes they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. That was kind of dirty. Shut up. <laughs> Horny brain moment. We're going to be seeing a lot of them. Get ready. Okay, fine, let's tackle it. Ow! That hurt my shoulder. Sorry. I shouldn't have asked you to do that. Now you have to shoulder that burden? Oh, shut up! <laughs> Was that a pun? A basket. A model of a UFO. A stuffed chupacabra? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's the next poster. And a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. 
Somebody sent to the occult. This is somewhat different than a cult. A lamp. It looks like a rose. You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? <laughs> what are you, a thug? A skeleton. There are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even Ooh. though it's just bone? The skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead. They should. That's racism. A skeleton. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Nice job, you fucked it up. Look, the wall. Ah! Oh, whoops. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? The man. Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. <laughs> and I insomnia? There's always one somewhere. <laughs> no more. <laughs> I can't eat anymore. I'm stuffed. Also, yes. Uh, I've never actually gotten all these, what? so I'm I'm not going to. I'm not going to go out of my way to get all of these. I'll get as many as I can, but I don't want to hold it up too much and go for 100. Door locked with a padlock. Let's knock. Knock, knock, and hello. Never thought I'd hear you make a reference like that. I don't get the reference. <laughs> oh no. Well, trying to be an AI beloved by all mankind. Is that right? Why isn't anything happening? I guess I just don't get it. Okay, good. Am I alone? <laughs> a gun came out of the skull? Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Who did you hear that from? <laughs> a gun. It won't go off? It should be fine. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't get excited. <laughs> Remind you of anyone? No. <laughs> a door locked with a padlock. Leave it to me. Alright, let's shoot the lock off. There are two kinds of people in the world. Those who open doors... Just pull the trigger. got lucky a door locked with a padlock do you think something this size would fit it might fit if you work it in a little try just the tip yeah <laughs> our main character everyone I suppose I see. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. It seems I was key in helping us escape. Oh, shut up! Okay, <laughs> shut up! That's it. 
This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. I'll open it. No! Woman! Genuinely wondering how much that sequence absolutely ruined the bit, right? <laughs> Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you. God, I love her. Okay, uh... Also, I, uh... Okay, so, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'll go 100% on the collectibles. I will try and get all the dialogue, though. You think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to ten square feet? Like that! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. So I talked to this man again. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. <laughs> Talks? <laughs> I think I think that's my favorite face of his. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. <laughs> Alright then. Hmm. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whatever could she have meant by this? wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? What? Sorry, it was funnier in my head. I feel that. Why do you have this? So, if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. Yeah. Oh, in one PC. Oh no. <laughs> the battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped. What do you mean? <sighs> oh, Date. No, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, 
Are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called Spur? No, I haven't been able to play that fucking game. It's it's not actually available in English anymore. I'm still mad at Banshee's last cry. Actually, I forget if it, I think the translation for it came out again recently, like as a fan patch. I'll need to check that out. <sighs> yep. They're all my husbands. Uh-huh. Is that so? I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. I know. I can hear it all the way down the hall. <laughs> So much shit in this room. That's my grandpa's death mask. The guy had a huge face. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. Honestly, I feel that. More posters, um... Shelves. Thank you for the description there. Rip. <laughs> I think it's the last item. Reminds me of you, boss. You have many faces, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Matryoshkas eventually end, though. You get to the last one, the smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. Okay. Actually, okay, hold on. There's something else? Oh, large like key. It reminds me of you, Date. But <laughs> okay. Six years. Hmm. I was uh, double checking. I can't live without coffee. I love it smooth and dark. Ah. Real talent. <laughs> hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. Yeah, absolutely nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. No, I'm gonna ask about it. I wouldn't tell you even if my life depended on it. 
Even if you took me to the finest club in Kabukicho and showered me in Dom P, my lips are sealed. But why, boss? It's top secret, classified. It was that bad, huh? If that's how you want to interpret it. You need to ask about it. Give it a rest, Date. You keep prying into this, and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. This isn't harassment or sexual. <laughs> I can make it sexual. Oh. It appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. <laughs> Called out. Called I the fuck out. Your thoughts, remember. Thank you for your input, Iva. Just promise me you'll let this go, okay? It's a delicate issue. Even more delicate than my patience. So drop it. That's an order. Understood? Okay. Uh... Yeah, about all that. Who do you think status. I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? The commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Huh. So, nothing to report then. Got it. I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. Ah oh, yes, this 12-year-old girl. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Yes, like, well, there's, so there's something weird about the early parts of this game, and that I think they were about to go with the the Japanese name ordering, and they already recorded all the dialogue, but then they realized they, they changed gears and just left it in and added a comma to all the texts. Dante it would explain why it just so kind of switches like that. Old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Since you don't have a cell phone. I forgot he doesn't have a cell phone! How? Oh wait, no, I... Wait, I remember. I think they actually clarify on that later. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? Yeah, you look really ragged. Well, at least as ragged as your model can make you look. You're yeah, like her legal guardian, then. No, she just lives with me. Yes, basically the adoptive daughter. 
In any case, that's cold. We're not going to get anything from the her. The fucking stray cat line, Tyler. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. Yeah, the person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. A payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing your identity. Honestly, the weird part is fucking payphones in the year. Well, I think I think this game actually takes place in 2019. I could be wrong. The creature has arrived. Well, yeah, it's abandoned, but I mean, I also feel like if the paper was still there, it would just be dead. <laughs> no, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. Yes, even she's burned out by it. I guess so about I. I. And I. I've been thinking a lot lately. About myself. If I have another mind inside me, am I really me? Oh, it reminds me of something Arthur Rimbaud once wrote. I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. Ooh. Oh, okay, about my eye. Hey, so about my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. Why? Hey, what does love mean to you? Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Yeah, there like you go. Fun. See, I knew, I knew it came up in the game. I'm right, aren't I? You dork. That hurts, you know. <laughs> Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me, I didn't create her. No, she's fine. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. God, I can't wait until anyone new to this sees Pewter's design. a serious question we've been partners for five years you know who I am all right get, get back in the socket no. what I'm giving you an order does not compute <laughs> I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately you're joking right Yeah. The official title is AI Ball. <laughs> look, look at this fucking Pokemon gym leader ass design. <laughs> it's fucking great. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Also, yeah, uh, the the Scarlet and Violet 
uh, professor. I can't remember which game he's in uh, of the two, but he, he has practically the same outfit. Obviously, different colors. An colors, autonomous but. artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. God, the, the comparisons people were saying with uh, with Toro and that he looks like he would sell you on crypto is very, very much a psychological attack. Okay, really now, what's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? Yo, you're kinda cute like Aren't that. I? I receive that compliment frequently. Your attitude isn't, though. <laughs> so, am I cute or not cute? Wait, who the f- <laughs> Oh, I- Okay, no, I'm sorry, I have seen that. And those people are actually insane. Toro does not look like Alex Yickman. I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Nope, not cute at all. <laughs> I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime. Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Matsushita. Oh, no. Years old. Male. This absolute gr gremlin person. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Yeah, yeah, it's him. That's all, that's all you need to say. Do not elaborate. Oh, right. Hello, me. Did you know that the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China? Yeah, just a little trivia for you. I'm full of useful information. You are a handsome looking man. <gasps> no, stop it. Are you okay, Date? Perhaps it's time for his medication. <laughs> take your meds, take your meds, take your meds, take your meds, take your meds. Who are you? My name is Kaname Date. I work as a special agent for the investigation squad of this at MPD. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot, we, we don't actually have the car segment for that one. Oh, hello. I'm sorry we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. Oh, heavens no. I is my boy, I is Ota in trouble? 
Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. And you're Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Mm -hmm. Could you put that knife down, please? <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry, sorry. Also, yeah, God. Uh, Miami's great. <laughs> Just honestly, prob probably the sweetest person in this entire game. Oh, or at least one of. Um, no, I can't get over the fact that she has a fucking shirt that says hipster on it. Let's zoom in on the engraving. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he um, was in elementary school. God, yeah, I, for, I, I forgot that she had that she had died. Damn it. He knows how much I love flowery designs. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. It says... Mayumi's black sauce. What? What's what's the black sauce? What what is it? A large jellyfish. I was actually just a genetic freak. Sure. It's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. He's cute. <laughs> you have zero standards, Kaname Date. He has some standards. Maybe. Potentially. Okay, maybe not. Well, I was trying to see what I have because I remember there being like this real there we go. Kuroda Kazuaki's cheek boiled in red wine. I actually don't know who that's referencing. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it's lost on me. Let's hope that's not what it sounds like. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Is that right? Think that thing gets any channels? Unlikely. I do not detect any tuners or antennas. A swimming door. <laughs> A swinging door. I swear, half the, half of the uh, minor dialogue in this game was actually just random bullshit that devs were saying. They said, yo, just, just toss into the script. This reminds me of the funniest props compilation I saw. <laughs> Why is that, of all things, making me laugh this hard? <laughs> you reached pretty far back for that reference. We have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what year it is. <laughs> I I'm kidding, of course. I 
Oh. Oh. I think we got everything in the in the room. Let's let's go ahead and actually hold on. I'm sorry. Nope. There we go. Family photo, huh? Mayumi and Ota. When they were young, the other person appears to be Ota's father. Irresponsible young men. Nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Ota wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office. An entertainment company. Idol fan detected. <laughs> It's just a little diner, but not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband, but it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean... Never mind. Huh? Hmm. Oh, about... 30 years now, we had to borrow a lot of money to get started. Back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. What is the name of the company? Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Because there's a goddess there. Oh, what? Oh. Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. You see that box over there? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. Nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not witch. Her name? I don't remember. I just call her the witch. All right, I'm getting nowhere. <laughs> she doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Call him? Yes, does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? <laughs> <laughs> we have a phone at home. Doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. You can abandon this line of questioning, Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal. <laughs> Holy shit, Iba! <laughs> You're right! Holy shit! Yeah, you should probably look at the box, huh? Do you want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. <laughs> You're calling her a witch before. She forces Oda to buy them. I know it. Asamon.co.jp And the logo is literally just upside down. It's the exact same smile, just reversed. 
the sender is Great Grin. I never... Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually just an off-brand good smile, isn't it? A popular online store. <laughs> yep. Product description reads, Solid model. We should look inside. Use the x-ray mode. Yeah, that's one thing I'm hoping is that um, Nirvana allows you to just switch to X-ray right from the right from the uh, from uh, the initial zoom in view rather than having to initiate the entire view now, over. What is this? A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. A set. Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. My, my idol's... I, shit. <laughs> I was gonna say, my idol sense is tingling. Date, I've found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnisgate. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemnisgate. Renju owns that company. Correct. The web deepens. Uh, excuse me, does the name Lemnisgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. Wait, the, does this imply the car is can be self-driven? Because I don't think he ever once does that. So hold on, I think there's something we have investigated there. Um... I think he went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. Well, well, well yeah, we, but at semantics, it implies that Date doesn't have to be the one driving the car and she can just do it all by herself, which, I mean, actually does make some sense considering it is a module it's for her. New. It's still just like, damn, I didn't even think about that. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Oh, right, we have it. Okay, so yeah, something we haven't looked at on, uh... Yeah, we got that. Okay. Alright, we can, we can go. Let's head over to the, the idol den. Correct. Another creature detected. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? I'm from the MPD. Um, it kind of is a loading screen, but it also loads quick enough that you can just skip by it. Like, it's... <laughs> the police? Yeah, I mean, plus, also, yeah, I'm running this off the PS5. I'm not sure it makes any difference in how quickly it loads. It's not on the main drive, for reference. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? <laughs> I forgot. Well, so, I think normally you're supposed like, most people just, like, are expected to read this, like, later through the conversation. You best get immediately, and just Dante just has an impro like, an uh, unprompted violent impulse to break it. If you can pay for the damage. I can relate. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, let's talk to him. What are you Nothing. typing? Could you stop bothering me please? Same. 
Stay in dock. How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? Hey, look, look at me. Oh, I'm kind of busy right now. Bitch. Last night. Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, Oto, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by the uh. law Aw, oh, shut no up. No person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. God, I forgot how much I don't like him. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> yes! Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Now what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. I want to punch him. No, fine, fine, we'll kick him. I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. <laughs> Thank you, Red Tiger. What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Oh, no, I forgot this line's coming up. <laughs> Does Tessa refer to Asa? That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub-accounts. God, if you actually read the fucking tweets, it, like, it's just guaranteed brain poison. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet, or false flagging. Yeah, there's the line. This kid is pathetic. Yeah, fucking that, yeah, one of the lines is version I'm not ashamed, and I think, like, literally just a minute prior, he said, I've had sex a million times in my now. I fucking hate this. Hey, kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Aset. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Oh, shut up. Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. Alright, we're finally getting somewhere. Why sock puppeting? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. <sighs> Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Are you? Just... Don't do it again, okay? If you Oh! <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, so, Okay, uh, yeah, it just popped by, but, uh... Yeah, that, that swimsuit model they showed off was actually... Uh, was one of the posters from a puzzle room in BLR. Wait, sorry for what? <laughs> I have nothing to be sorry about, at least not to my knowledge. Oh! 
<laughs> There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind a desk. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breasts. Breasts. There are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. It's important information. I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around? Y yes Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey everyone, uh, this guy... <laughs> this guy eating beans! <laughs> okay, okay, I'll talk, just... Shh. I love how he says this when there's only one other person in the office besides the two of them. Well, lobby. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Yeah, I'd hope so. <laughs> Any anytime someone kisses me with Ota, I feel part of me just die inside. Did you enter the park? Like I don't care. I'm never that bad. Yes. So who were you meeting? Scrota. Oh, that that's that's maniacal. A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. She's just a friend. Yeah, she better be. <laughs> what? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship. Oh, don't call it a relationship. <laughs> don't call it a relationship. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, what am I supposed to call it? So far, a sofa. It's a sofa. Oh, right. I forgot. Zate, look! Ants! Look at them go! Yay! We need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. I forgot I need to investigate the plants every time I come here. What is that supposed to be? I do not know. Hold on, yeah, just very quickly. I can see what I haven't investigated by now. Also, yeah, uh, every time every time you visit this building, you investigate the plants. There's a different type of insect that uh, Iba finds out about, or rather, uh, informs you about. Okay, yeah, we should be good. Let's let's keep talking to them. Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking took his spear to the chest of that one. That is a lie. I hope it is. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Hey, Ota, how about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. 
She sounded scared. Yeah, no, yeah, Ota specifically sucks ass because he's like, honestly, not that far off from a real ass person. And that's you right. That area is run down and abandoned. I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. And the fact, it's also the fact that, like, he has moments where he'd, be, he'd be, actually be a genuinely great person, and then he just goes right back to just being this absolutely hard creature. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. I get that. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. Thanks, Iba. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> Did you leave her there? You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to! And in front of her own dead mother. I mean, granted he didn't know that information, but he's still kind of a piece of shit. I was panicking! People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. What? Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. <laughs> I tried using my cell phone at first. <laughs> Dante may be just debilitatingly horny, but he's actually a good father figure. But my heart was pounding and I was scared and my Most hand was time. shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Oath's phone sent out? Also, one of the surprising things is that given the time period this game takes place and he doesn't have a waterproof phone or water resistant. Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. Yeah, yeah, that too. I mean, like... Hey, Ota, what are you doing? He has a rush, but... Tessa! Idol spotted. Mr. Date from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. God, he's such a fucking manly. You mean a detective? Wow, I've never met a real detective before. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't call Iris mid. She's just. Date. I want to have a word. Level is rising. Is something the matter? No, nothing. Uh, so funny thing, she technically is considering the promotion for this game was that she was a uh, ARG uh, YouTuber, and there's like there's actually like a whole meta ad campaign going around. Oh, oh, okay. Something wrong? You aren't even blinking. Come on, I'm shy. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> yeah, stay mad at Oda. <laughs> oh, are you are you a fan of mine? Look. <laughs> Now I'm getting a little creeped out. You can stop staring now. Uh, 
Okay, wait, we exhausted that one. More of a gawk or in rapture games. That's that's a little bit of an understatement, but okay. Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter. We hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Oh, what is your relationship with Ota? Like a goddess in a summon thrall. You shut up. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. Unrelated, but I saw a copy of White Knight Chronicles 2 for the PS3 at, at, uh, at a local McKay's. I was tempted to grab it. Just thought I'd mention <laughs> you that. You sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Stop! You're making me blush. This guy. Yeah, same. Let me confirm something. You're Aced, right? <laughs> Let's play a game. Shadows. Um, thread, silhouette, Aced. Oh God, yeah, you're right. I never thought about it like that. <laughs> oh, that that sucks. Fears. Uh, upset, regret. Aset. Water. Wet sweat. Aset. <laughs> Yay! Aset, you bet. <laughs> yeah, same. The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave. Uh <laughs> <laughs> about the sock puppet. Hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on two winter. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. I turned 18 this year. Oh, that's the worst part. <laughs> oh. Not even the fact that she's just 18, the fact that she turned 18 that year, so it's like... Oh. <laughs> Senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Also, yeah, no, her, her name is not a spoiler. Uh, in fact, I think... Don't worry, I'm not gonna make a move. Wait. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? I always... <laughs> I forget how weirdly enthusiastic he sounds about this. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I think I'm, I think she gets added to the uh, to the person's database where it shows her name. It's not a spoiler. Oh wait, no, she, it's not added. Weird. Okay. Female according to settings. Oh, uh I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa? Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly oh. pique the young woman's interest. Absolutely not. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? Yeah, a freak, I know, right? Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you better fucking feel dejected on this one. Gee, Tessa, you always shut up. So, so <laughs> shut up. So cute. Shut up. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I 
can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the... Yeah. Yeah. I know. You know who this is, right? Yeah. It's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait. Do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Yeah, that, that would explain why, uh, why Iris didn't know about, you know, Shoko herself. Alright, let's leave. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. You'll what? <laughs> what? Please take me with you. Man, she really wants to see a corpse. Why? Well, wait, the cor I don't think the corpse is there anymore, obviously. Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Oto is telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. Okay, uh, weirdo's a little strong. I prefer the term gamer girl. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Which, to some degree, is probably worse. Ota, take a video! Huh? Just do it! Mr. Date! <laughs> Please, Mr. Date! You can't leave me! What? I can't imagine life without you! What are you doing? Ota, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he looks so cucked. <laughs> and Receptor's just sitting there, just witnessing all this. <laughs> also, yeah, look at- look how much of a fucking man he is! She's an entire head taller than him, and she's like six years younger. Something wrong? No, oh, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. Huh. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Ah. Huh? Hold on. Oh, yeah, you, you still can't talk to her. Okay. MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? Gaslight, gatekeep, and girl boss. You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... Why are you doing this? I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. <laughs> He's still so mad. I love it. Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. Actually, hold on. I think there's something... Oh, wait. I can't even see it that. Um, yeah, last sweep before we head out. Um... Plant, door, yep. Okay, yeah, we're good.
Oh yeah, we're finally in the car. Right. This car isn't domestic. Also, yeah, no, hold on. Wait. Hold on. So yeah, I was always under the impression that, um... That was it Eastern uh, Japanese cars had the steering wheel on the right side. Uh, am I wrong? And Indians use the left too. What? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just thinking. No need to sound so enthusiastic about it. Okay, yeah. How did wow, how did I just forget to be able to remotely control it? Cool. Hey, you got any guns in here? I bet you do. No, not in there. So you do have a gun. <laughs> All right, let's talk. Let's talk to the fucking e girl. Um, Mr. Date, shouldn't you keep your eyes on the road? Don't worry about it. I'm a professional. You ask. The two are very close for an idol and a fan. Ota is special. No comment. He really is like a hero to me. Hero, huh? We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous. Get on TV. Be a household name. You're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Yeah. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs and dances and play video games and stuff on stream. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? She's just like... <laughs> Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. It sure is, Iva. It sure I've been is. I've focusing a lot on that game lately. What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Questions. Questions. What's it like being a detective? Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm -hmm. But you are a cop, right? Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! What are you doing? Just thinking about posting that video. You, Dante literally could have gotten out of this if you had just lied. Whoa, hold up now. Well then, tell me! You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. Uh... Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Quirky behavior. What? I can see into the future. I know when I'm going to die. <laughs> Just kidding! I hope so. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. 
Okay. Oh. Well, you have to tell her because you didn't. You, you decided not to lie. Part of a investigation unit known as Abyss. Date. I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. There's layers of quirkiness added on. <laughs> well, at oh first God, all I did was just some like home. me. I <laughs> and then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway, one day Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell. Iris. Iris Sagan. Yeah, yeah, so don't, don't worry. Your name's not a spoiler. I know. Weird, right? Vision, that's what. No, it's nothing. Excuse me, you Konami Date. Yeah, get, get ready to see that flashback a lot because this game loves it. That's right. And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> just, okay, just, just skedaddles. <laughs> Look at her go. A black and white bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? Ugh! <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. I wonder what that could be referencing. <laughs> Mr. Date, that horse. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. It looks pathetic. A nice observation there. I wonder how many couples said <laughs> in cell behavior. I would burn all those damn benches if I could. Where is this anger coming from? Okay, I would not, I would not call that sky clear. What are you on? Also, yeah, uh, is, is this still really cool? It's like very blatant future tech, but I don't know, I like it. Not looking too great. We searched all over here. We didn't find them. See, I honestly don't know. I, I would feel inclined to believe she has slightly some good taste in say Chiaki, just given the obvious overlap. But I mean, for all I know, she may just act, like she may just have the absolute 
most milk toast ass taste on that one. It's a mystery. Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. It has been removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. Iba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Agreed. But there isn't a single drop on the horse, and it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off either. That must mean... Oh, whoops. Uh... Horse. Uh, okay. All right, fine, let's talk to her. What are you doing? He was trying to find some clues. You're doing a good job. Keep it up. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm-hmm. Mr. Dante. <laughs> Was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. They conducted their ritual here. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around, stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination. But do you have any proof? I do. Well, let's hear it. All right, why is this a ritual? Horses. Horse? Sounds kind of like Horus, right? You're insane. What are you talking about? You're right, but you're insane. You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. The eye of Providence? The all-seeing eye. The Illuminati. Oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a one dollar bill. Yeah, exactly. Also, wait. I... Okay, so yeah, the, just outright referencing U.S. currency. The Eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Uh, God damn it. Starting to see the picture? Not really. I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Interesting discovery. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw? Yeah. When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. If Ota's telling the truth... He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Tinazuki? Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. Yeah, but she has she has the ear girl power on her they side. She's gotta find something, Iba. right? Iba. Right? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She is right in front of your eyes. Huh? When I was younger, but not since it closed, Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kawasaki District. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Not great, not terrible. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. 
Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Are they... okay? I don't know. Mutations. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. Uh, let's not head out just yet and just very quickly, uh, seeing what I may have missed in the area. No plans to investigate. Got both of the police officers. Oh, there's something. Parasol. That's all. <laughs> oh, the control room. Is that a phone booth? No, it's the control room. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. But hey, if you sense any trouble, you can hop in there and change. How old are you making that reference? Okay, I mean, that's that's a, that's a pretty noteworthy reference. Even really young people would still I get it. I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. <laughs> Alright, I think... Yeah, I think I got just about everything. Unless, uh... First view, we got the we got the barrier. Okay, yeah, let's let's tell her we can, let's tell her to skedaddle. Oh come on, just a little longer. No, I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay, I guess. Hey, you all right? Are you okay? Morning sickness. What? I'm kidding. It's not like I would know. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. Absolute feather. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. Weird, but okay. Seriously? Okay. Uh... You know how stuff always gets beat up when you put it in here? Don't you wish they could make these things a little nicer? She tried it. Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? I would put it right back where it came from. Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. <laughs> Damn, that's cold. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that was... Nice. Thank you for the follow. I was, I was actually just wondering if that was working. Uh, which, actually, shit, I should Wait, probably... seriously? 
only because I'm worried about how that's going to end up uh, sounding in terms of uh, volume. Uh, bear with me just a quick moment to get, tweak a little bit of things. I want to have eight of your ears blown up. Uh, six. Yep. Okay, yeah, I think that should have everything set. No. Okay. But I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity 60%. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Eh, 70 is still... It's still... It can still debatably be a little bit warm. Uh, then, thank you again for the follow. Oh, no, shit, that's... Sorry, I wasn't my brain getting completely sidetracked. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100... You get a rush like you're holding D-cups. Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. My arm regenerates like an alien's. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. It feels like I've met you before. Well, that's nice. Well, yeah, about 3 a.m. at a Denny's one day. And if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now... <laughs> okay, okay. The wind feels nice. Also, also yeah, I mean, like, there, there's no cars coming in from your left. She would have been fine. Also, why should we D, as someone who actually has, you know, done the whole putting their hand out, I... Yeah, I don't know, it sounds, it sounds about accurate. Rough, at least, like, if you're being very, like, a rough estimate. You should come in. No, that's all right. I'm gonna head home. Ooh, going home already. <gasps> Mother spotted. <laughs> Is this Iris? Also, yeah, she's she's the one that got fucking killed in our dream. Crazy shit. Oh, thank you for the follow. I'll make some tea. You're... Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? Kaname Date, from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris? Oh, right. It's nothing. Don't... Okay. Yeah, she's... Man, she's that close to fucking spilling it. Oh, right, no. Okay, so we're in this location. So we gotta do something really important. Investigate the shoebox. <laughs> Actual genetic freak. You are beyond perverted. Hey, these thoughts are private, okay? No, they're not. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, our main character likes feet. It's on a catalog before, so I know.
Um, let's see. Microwave. Iva, let me know if you're cold. I'll pop you in there and warm you up. I would suggest putting your heart in there first. <laughs> Date, a riddle. How do you put a giraffe in a refrigerator? What? The solution is this. You open the door, put the giraffe in, and close the door. What kind of a riddle is that? Another riddle. How do you put an elephant in the refrigerator? Isn't it the same answer? Open the door, put it in, close the door? Incorrect. The giraffe is already inside. You must remove the giraffe before you put the elephant inside. That is the solution. Your riddles could use some work. God, you're such a weirdo. <laughs> also, I forgot that actually does come back, uh, so just put, put, put a pin in that real quick. We could always sit here and ask the spirits what they think. It's not a divining table. Oh my god! <laughs> I love the joke this game, but sometimes they give me, like, fucking brain damage. The flowers. It's an iris. An iris? I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. Mm -hmm. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. Um... I actually don't know who that other person is. It's it, that reference is lost to me, unfortunately. <laughs> natural, natural talent for art. <laughs> Wonder who that person on the right is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I still need to play, um... I still need to play Disco Leasy at some point. Not sure if I'll stream it. Uh, I'm, I might keep that to a solo run, but I do intend on playing it real soon. Just gotta clear out some, uh, some contextual backlog first, like Xena Saga. Because goddammit, Xena Blade 3 just has to come out early. Can't fucking take this year of gaming. It's great, but it's absolutely roasting me alive. I mean, Nirvana comes out next week. Then we have pretty much oh, yeah, fucking everything coming out in July, like Xenoblade 3, Klonoa, uh, a couple of others I'm just completely blanking out on. Twenty twenty two is just—it's a fantastic year for media, but it's also a horrible year for me because I fucking gonna lose all my money on this. All right, let's talk. Let's talk to her. How old are you? I'm 37. Is that so? And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. You were very young when you had her. Yes, just 19 years old. God. What about your husband? Oh. I don't have one. Divorce? Mr. Date, please. It's all right, Iris. I've never been married. A single mother? Yes. Do you... Oh, uh, sorry for the strange question. It just feels like we've met before. No. I've never heard that before. This is the first time we've met. Of course. By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemnisgate, Mr. Okiura. That's on the biggest cigarette journey of the century. Give him Renji time to come back. Renji was my classmate at Eitoku High. 
We've known each other for 20 years now. Itoku, hi. You know it? I know everything on the internet. Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Damn, you met her just straight up before and after the divorce. Why do you ask? No reason. I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. A teacher? Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. Oh, thank you for the follow. All right, let's talk. Let's talk to the girl again. Oh, whoops. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch. There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah. What about them? <laughs> I mean, we already know about the flowers. I just- oh, oh, okay, I'm assuming something new unlocked with them. Nope. Oh, I haven't investigated the cushion, though. Is there a problem, Date? No, that's nothing. Yeah, I uh, I still need to play the punchline game. Uh, but I've I've been basically I've been wanting to rewatch the anime first, which it's not even long. I just I've just been lazy on it. But at the same time, I heard that the game is very much like it's basically just a full recap of the anime with the extra content there. So hopefully, I should be safe just doing a replay of that and spare myself the rewatch for now. <laughs> Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. Uh, there we go. We haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. Yeah, it's uh. Are you left-handed? It's very funny that uh, like Punchline does actually have a um. Definitely has a much higher budget than Zero Time Dilemma did, but it's also probably because again, like it, it had the funding of. I forget who the Japanese publisher was, but yeah, just generally much better funded. <laughs> oh, uh, mom used to be right handed, but now. <clears throat> yeah, something's going on with their arm. It locked up on me. Ah, I see. No, no, we're not leaving yet. Oh yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, Map Map it was studio for the anime, but like the actual game itself. Uh, do you want? Let me let me very quickly check. I don't. I don't recall who the. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was developed and published by Five PB over in. Um... Over in Japan, who, if you don't know, also handled uh, some, a lot of the science adventure games like Science Gate. So yeah, much, much higher budget. But uh, compared to ZTD, which is not a high metric. I feel as tough as a lion. Rawr! 18 years old. How am I supposed to react to that? I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I was going to ask the same question. Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. Yeah. Since I was born. And mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I've thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering moving? Well, because there was... Well, uh, I don't know. Huh? I finally, uh... Yeah, I'm assuming that's just... We're just not gonna get past that. Um, let's do the last sweep.
I'll say I absolutely love this game soundtrack. Uh, this track, this track especially, is one of the really good ones. <laughs> I never caught this line. Sorry, Iba. Maybe next time. What? Dante, what was that even supposed to mean? Like, I get what you're trying to go for, but it's not working out the way you think it is. What's like what? Mr. Date? What are you staring at? Your sound system. My sound system? What about it? I was just admiring it. I wish I had one that big. But you do! Right. <laughs> what do you mean by this? <laughs> also, yeah, Punchline in general is like considerably more horny than this game. But this game also wins out in terms of the horny factor because of the fact that it, um, was it, like, it's, it's, it's not, like, constant, so you, you keep getting fucking blindsided by it. Alright, well, let's head out. I think it's time for me to be heading home. We'll see each other again, right? You sure you want that? I'm a cop after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. But, because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She is kind of like my roommate after all. What? Anyway, be seeing you. Doesn't elaborate. Leaves. No, don't do that. Uh, excuse me. Well, I should head home. Fucking brain empty moment. All right. Take care, Date. Also, yeah, now I think about it, the, the sound system joke probably was a Paisuri reference. Don't know how that just fucking leaped over my head. Date, let's go over the facts of the case. Good idea. Hold on, actually, is there a way to increase the camera sensitivity? Let me see if I let me see if it was does it, cause. Okay, it doesn't really increase the speed of his head movement. Oh well, it was worth a shot. I'll see. I do it while I'm here, just in case. It game auto saves, but okay, cool. Uh, and then let me also change the curse sensitivity back, because otherwise it's gonna make investigating smaller details an absolute pain in the ass. Oh, hold on, let's also check... Let's go over our files real quick. Don't know how the fuck he's 30. Doesn't look it. Skills. Reaction time increased three, increases 3.6 times under certain circumstances. Certain circumstances. <laughs> Put a pin in that. Also, uh, very important to know, likes pelvises. This is how you know he's a man of culture. Oh yeah, uh, for those curious, there's the, uh, there's the binary in text if you want to just copy it over. And, and do the translation if you're... Uh, I, I actually can't remember what it says off the top of my head. Skills 3D modeling. Hmm. Actually, I forgot. Do we have any birthdays? 
Uh, I mean, they're listed. I was wondering if there were any that are happening today, but I doubt it. Okay. Uh, this likes scary people. Skills runs extremely fast. Okay, it, it, it tell me his birthday wasn't that long ago. Actually, yeah, just a little over a month. This likes anti-social people. Warm sickness. <laughs> yeah, t don't don't we all? Skills plays the video game involving shooting down alien invaders. <laughs> Retro gamer. <laughs> oh, oh right. Okay, I, I forgot about this. Okay, so um, hobbies breeding Cleone. Uh, they just fucking casually slipped in a Zanky Zero reference, which, by the way, I do recommend everyone here should play. It's ac actually fantastic. Uh, studies martial arts and enjoys emotionally attacking Date. Let's see, yeah, binary trans translates to the uh, accented O. And then, yeah, it's Hex. Okay, wow. I, then, yeah, I have no fucking clue what the translation is. Weird. Uh... <laughs> Likes unusual things. Dislikes ordinary things. <laughs> the most complex character in this video game. God, look at those fucking shades. Skills. Lying and cheating. Ah. Yeah, I got no clue what that binary is in. I'm assuming it's just gibberish in that case. It probably just fucking slammed it out. Um, profession, light novel, Arthur, self-declared. <laughs> likes Ace Tessa and chocolate. Dislikes Tessa's enemies and preachy people. Skills, co cooking omu rice. And, wait, hold on. Driving, wait, d driving. I don't believe he drives. He definitely seems like the kind of fucking creature that would just take the bus and just try to talk to someone about ASAP all day. And then it's a fucking sock puppet. This likes witches and everything that witch does. Skills, everyday cuisine, and obscure puns. And yeah, we've we yeah, we've seen uh we've seen boss before. Still like still not over the fact that she's 42. I think that's pretty fucking cool. Alright, let's get back to the game. Let's play a game. Hey me, wanna play a game? Sure, let's play I Spy. I spy something round. My eyeball. Correct. I will. <laughs> I will terminate you. Hi. My name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. Perhaps he's had too much medication. <laughs> D take your meds. Don't push yourself, Date. No, I'm fine, Tate. You do not appear to be fine. No, he's fine. My man is fine. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
Pokemon. Uh, Do you hide your risque reading material in there, Date? Not at all. Why would I hide them there? I don't know. You would be the type to put them in the fucking glove box for mid driving reading. Dashboard. Dashboard. What? <laughs> The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. All right, well, it's got me. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else, and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? I don't know, she has a pretty job, fucking sick Tokyo Drift. If there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew we that did it. The start. She we have never put her hands on We declared on her innocence mother. for the twelve-year-old girl. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Well, physical murder, no. Verbal murder, she absolutely has the capacity for. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather. It appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. Iba, can you give me a timeline of the event? At once. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. All right, about 5 p.m., that's when Choco died. Mizuki received the Mount Nile message at an unknown time. Between that and 8.10. We're about to come to Bloom Park. She brought Ota for some fucking reason. And it took her about 50 minutes to find the corpse. Ota leaves like a scumbag. Uh, he goes to a fucking payphone. And then first responders arrive not too long after. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Iba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. Also, I don't know if lying security is that moved. intricate in real life. I mean, like, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how it's the actual inner workings of it actually operated. I, I only use it on a very casual level, but That still. eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Could she have taken the eye? Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. Anything on your mind? Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? I have no idea. They flew. Obviously. Which means Iris did it. After all, gamer girls can fly. Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Masuki. Yeah, she's still not she doing it very well. 
No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. The boss really is a uh, fucking quintessential gaslight gatekeep girl boss. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. <laughs> sure. You know what you need to do now, right? Sync with her. Also, yeah, no, no second round of best game to stuff in her office yet. That'll come later. God, oh god. He's like one step away from gamer necking. We'll, we'll check on you in a moment. Searching. Classic. Alternative. Progressive. That's rock. Oh my god. <laughs> it took me a second. Look, if given the opportunity, Dante would 100% sink with the, with the snail that killed 6 billion people. Based? Happy Pride, everyone. Dante, look! It's the girl from that horror movie, coming out of the well. What the hell are you talking about? How do you not get that reference? Interesting. This kind of furniture is often used for pile drivers in professional wrestling. Now where on earth did you learn that? By watching wrestling. Look at him, look at him go. Just checking, uh, -huh. I think we actually have everything, well, aside from, oh, uh, so yeah, there it is, the, uh, the sink machine. We'll be seeing we'll be seeing this quite a lot. <laughs> also, yeah, uh, punchline is eight eight dollars on the PSN. Uh, I already have it physically, but yeah, if anyone interested, there you go. Uh, if you want, Uji Kozia is horniest. <laughs> the anime is pretty fucking good. I actually, I, I I think that would be a worthy purchase. Hey, Pewter, about Iba, could you do something about her personality? Do something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest, maybe a little more ladylike? If you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct in your eye socket. Huh, <laughs> so you were listening, huh? Do you know why they call me Pewter? Because I can oh my god. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. Her vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. She's only 12. You sure this is okay? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. You have nothing to worry about. All right. I'm a Noma. Thir and yeah, I forgot he's only 36. Does not look that young. <laughs> Let's 
So let's talk to the boss. Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he? I don't know. Fucking weird, weird behavior. If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Which is understandable after seeing her mother like that. You may be able to heal her. Yes, yeah, kind of fucked up. <laughs> You're the only one who can. Shit gets definitely fucked in this game. <laughs> You're asking me that now? I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you- Alright, uh, I think it's time. I actually don't remember how to trigger it. Uh... Oh, yeah, let's go. We are ready to begin. Date, go to the sink room. Got it. Agent Date, Mizuki is reacting. Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you, but she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. All right, how can we help you? I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Mizuki, I've never told you this, but I'm not an ordinary policeman. What tipped you off? Or rather, what didn't tip you off, considering the, the fucking outfit that he wears? I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and... Oh, weird. Hold on. We explore the... Wow, okay, yeah, the, there's, there's just no voice line for that. That's weird. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything, people that have head injuries, or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Our job is to find it. It, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it glitched out or if it was just like that, because yeah, I uh, went back to the log, tried playing it, and nothing played, so I'm assuming there's just no voice line present. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. And plus, Date's lip sync was... I don't think it really did anything, so there's I'm no assuming pain, it just didn't no side anything. effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnium. It's Latin for dream. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say? Okay, so let's see, which should we go for? Sushi, ramen, unagi, or stew? The stew in particular looks special. 
What do you, what do you two think? Yo, let's go, it's two. Hey, remember when we went last time? You were laughing about how it looked like throw up, but it tasted so good, you were devouring it. You kept saying it looked awful, but you loved it. Do you not have a more heartwarming story? I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. Date, <laughs> our heart rate is steady. EEG is stable. Date, get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and special agent, I forgot to mention one thing. I added a new feature to the sync system. A new feature? You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. Sure, got it. Yeah, let's go. Date, you ready? Okay, ready anytime. Remember, Date, you have only six, six minutes in the Somnium world. Get ready to hear that a lot. Your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, I know. I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. We're counting on you. Also, yeah, this game loves the number six. Well then, let's begin. Like, I think every character's age is a multiple of six. Aside from rivals, of course. This is a certified penis moment. I will not elaborate how. I get that reference. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. I get that reference too. Is this Bloom Park? Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed, so it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? This is your escape moment. It has to do with relativity, right? Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Somnium scan! I, I was so close to getting just the eye. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> that was just a really funny frame the phrase on where it just her just sitting Mizuki, there. Something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Hmm? An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Iba, the speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. All right, we have six minutes. Uh, well, it's a little asterisk at the end of it because it does freeze when we stop, or at least it goes at 
a very slow rate. Let's check out the panda pieces. The panda is in awful shape. Leave it to me. I am quite skilled at this. Or at least I thought I was. Your overconfidence is your weakness. The panda is in awful shape. Yep, and every action does take that select amount of time. Oh, there we go. Alright, yeah, let's go over to the ice pick. An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's photograph. Let's pull it out. No one would want to see their mother like this. What is this? Something happened over there. All right, first lockdown. The pillar became a lightning rod. It looks like we can get to the birdcage now. Our next step must be to remove it. Date. We got a timey. A timey? Time induction matter in Encephalon. <laughs> what the fuck kind of name is that? You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow I down. I, I speed forgot it was an acronym. Insomnia. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream. And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. Got it. Guess I'll try to use them where I can. Yep, and with those we can well, usually, hopefully, Agent cut Dante, the time. Five minutes. The panda is an awful. You know what? We may as well kick it. Ha! Did the merry-go-round move as well? Is there a connection there? This appears to be the microphone for the speaker. Shout. Stop it! Yeah! Stop it already! <laughs> One moment. A mic. Hmm. Nah. Let's not threaten. The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. Uh, let's try opening it. What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try it. Didn't expect to see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. Okay, so this is actually where the the main route split happens. So. I'll very quickly see, uh, which one do you think we should do first? Left or right? I will not tell you which route is which. This, uh, just, just keep it unbiased. I'll, I'll pause it so it's just in case so it doesn't count down. But yes, uh, left or right birdcage.
Uh, one is your I yeah without going to explicit detail. So obviously we can't see the main flowchart for obvious reasons, but this is where the fork happens. Right. And yeah, obviously we'll go back to the other one. That's just the way these things work. But yeah, do you know what? Fuck it. Let's go with the balloon first. A bird cage with blown up rubbers inside. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. Please don't Could call him that. Not call it a rubber. <laughs> you can say balloon. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. Please. Okay, let's. Let's lift it. This will be easy. Glad to hear it. What? But it was so heavy. But nothing happened. Oh? What is this? A deflated balloon. You only have three retries. Going back one lock will cost one, going back two costs two, and going back three will cost all three. Honestly, though, and yeah, in most instances, just doing a clean restart from the beginning is the best scenario. And then just picking what you know to be the right answer. Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. I told you, please call it a balloon. What are you getting so worked up about? Do what? Let's blow it up. Understood. Okay, you stop. You can stop. It's huge. I wish your boobs were that big. What? Jesus Christ! Are you serious? <laughs> Those are obscenely large for a human. Well, I suppose I am not technically human. So. Date, please be quiet. <laughs> There was it there wasn't hesitation there. Ah! All right, the cage has been lifted. You were able to get out? Perhaps the balloon was the key. Shoko's kind of a bitch. Alright, now that the birdcage is off, let's get Nasuki. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? If you stop time, you can go in, right? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. Oh, right. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop it from spinning. Let's see the map. I love how it very blatantly is a, uh, like literally just a 3D map, but from an isometric, well not isometric, but top down. Panda head looks interesting at least. The panda is floating. <laughs> How are you doing that? Unknown. I guess that was a waste of time. It was kind of fun, though. It was only six seconds. The panda is floating. Let's slap it down. I see it. The view from the top. The panda is okay. Let's kick it away. All right. Yeah. What is this? 
Merry-go-rounds can fly? Date, over there. Iris? Why? Why is Iris... She appears to be frozen. What the hell is going on? What is this? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Why do you never keep quiet? Is this fun for you? Giving your mother a hard time? That hurts! That hurts! Please stop! I'm sorry! Why are you here? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! If you weren't here, everything would be fine! You know, really a good thing that she's the first victim. <laughs> what? What's that look, huh? Ow! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! <sighs> yeah, she's... Choco is actually the fucking worst. I hate her so it's much. It's all your fault. You. You. I wish you had never been born! Christ. Mizuki's voice. The other voice is likely... Damn. What's going on here? Aiba, look out! What? I was about to become a pancake. Good thing this isn't a bed and breakfast. That frozen iris does intrigue me. But Mizuki first. Let's get to Mizuki while the merry-go-round is stopped. Computer sleep talking. More than one second when you clear, you get a prize. And no boss, anything but that. <laughs> Well, it's time to get our last run. Let's ride the horse before you leave. Is it fun? Does it look fun? You look cute like that. Oh, I see. <laughs> Just get the fuck off. <laughs> Oh, is, is the panda? Yeah, the, no, the panda's just gone. Okay. Oh. What is this? You have less than two minutes. Hurry. Uh, yeah, do you know what? It's Mizuki. Uh, let's speak kindly. Mizuki, can you hear me? We will protect you, Mizuki. We will always be there for you. So, it's all right now. Hey, do you think we can use that speaker? Maybe she needs to hear her mother's voice. Where's it coming from? Date, don't! You can't stay any longer! I know, we, we have like a good two minutes left.
Mother Blood and Secrets. Alright, did that do it? Are you okay? Light in her eyes seems to be back. Azuki. Damn it. She hasn't been healed. She's still traumatized. <laughs> What the fuck was that reaction here? Iba, call Iris's phone. It's urgent. Why the rush? Please, just call. Hello? This is Konami Date from the MPD. I'm oh, Date! Is something wrong? Where are you right now? Um, I'm at home. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Can you tell me why? Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean a personal order? Okay, but if I do, will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? <laughs> okay, but you have to play Minecraft. No. Then go on a date with me. A date? If you promise me we'll go on a date, I'll stay home and not say a peep. Don't promise me, then. I'll wander around the city dragging a heavy suitcase. What? <sighs> All right. Understood. Understood? Great. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Fine. Just don't go outside, okay? If anything happens, call me immediately. My number is... I have it in my history. See ya. What was that? It's nothing. All right, let's see. This brings me back. Date and I used to make love on this table. Oh. We did not. We just poured salmon roe and seaweed salad all over each other. Oh. That sounds even more kinky. Ah. <laughs> Happy Pride, everyone. Hey, Date, remember that time you were blackout drunk? You thought that locker was a urinal? Oh. <laughs> Please don't remind me. I've never seen him do that face! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, the fucking, there's, there's a good amount of this game I just have not seen. That's, that's weird. Hold on, there has to be... Okay, yeah. I'll talk to Peter. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Oh, I think the chair joke is here. Yeah, yeah, hold on. No! <laughs> I think it comes later. Oh, Joe, you know what it is? I think it's the chair joke is on the other route. 
we'll, we'll, we'll get to Terra in a moment, don't ah, worry. The corpse you saw in Samia. You're wondering if that was some kind of vision of the future. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you know, you made that face. Well, let's see. As a man of science, I don't believe in such things. Prophecies and the like. However, if it was a prophecy, I would suggest the girl wear some kind of metal plate. Huh? You saw her. She was stabbed countless times in the back. She could have used some stab-proof armor or something. Okay, sure. <laughs> Just indulging in the fantasy of real life prophecies. Don't mind me. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. True. You see? Alright, what are weird shit you got for me? I know about the ringtone you heard, but I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Did Mizuki actually hear that? Or was it just a dream? Or her imagination? That's what I'm trying to find out. Can you analyze the sound or something? Unfortunately not. Alright. Actually, you know let's talk to the boss first. Boss, I heard a ringtone in Mizuki's Somnium. I know. But I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Yeah. I don't even know if it's real or something Mizuki invented. But if Mizuki really did hear that ringtone... Then there must have been a phone somewhere on site. Did CSI report anything like that? No, nothing. They searched the site, but didn't find a single thing. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here on the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. Good job. <laughs> so we know about everything you saw. The phone, the frozen corpse. It didn't go well. But it's not all bad. The sink wasn't a total waste of time. We found clues. Clues, right. Where is this coming from? Oh, I see. This is about the body you saw in Mizuki Samyum. Her name is Iris Saga, the girl you went to Bloom Park with today. How do you know that? Iba told me. It is one of my duties to deliver regular investigation reports. Prophecies, huh? That's why you called Iris. But, Date, come on. I know. A dream is just a dream. Doesn't necessarily have anything to do with reality. But still, I just have this gut feeling. Date, are you alright? Perhaps the sink is causing negative side effects. I hope that's all it is. I mean, if you if you had an eyeball assistant, wouldn't, wouldn't you want her to do the fucking paperwork? What the hell? Mizuki, I have to ask you. You got a Nile message yesterday, and then you went to Bloom Park. Who sent you the message? I checked her phone, but the history was white. I am trying to identify the sender now, but it will take some time. Mizuki, when we found you at the merry-go-round, you were holding the ice pick. I'm not accusing you of anything. I trust you. I just want to know why you were holding it. Yeah, we've been answer me, Mizuki. You. You're not really helping, man. Date, please. Yelling at her is counterproductive. Damn it. Yeah, she's very much not okay. Hey, Mizuki, tell me something. In your dream world, I heard a phone ring. Did you hear that somewhere, or did you just imagine it? Date, there's no point talking to her. You couldn't heal her. Her symptoms haven't improved. She'll be sent back to the hospital. Maybe the doctors can help her. 
Mizuki, I saw something strange in your dream. Iris, she was frozen. She was dead. What was that? Tell me, Mizuki, please. Date, there is no point attempting to speak with her. Mizuki's aphonia has not healed. It was worth a shot, at least. Okay, uh... I think I'll go to Bloom Park again. Looking for the phone? It might be there, it might not. I just want to be sure. Take care of Mizuki, okay? Yeah, leave it to me. All right, let's let's head out. Now the news. Yesterday night, the body of Shoko Nadami was found. Her body was recovered from the now defunct Bloom Park in the Kawasaki district. Autopsy reports revealed that her time of death was roughly 5 p.m. last afternoon. The police have determined that the victim was killed elsewhere and then brought to Bloom Park to be put on display. The MPD has expanded the scope of their investigation and are encouraging anyone with any information to come forward. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. today, on the outer circle of the capital city highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. As a result of the pileup, one man was sent to the hospital unconscious in critical condition. Six other individuals were treated for minor injury. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Wonder who that was. <laughs> now, fuck, now I'm actually imagining a fucking defunct land video on Bloom Park. <laughs> what, what kind of curse shit do you think happened in here before the chemical plant accident? Scream shrilly. <laughs> Wait, are you a ghost? Idiot. It's me. Who you? Me? It's me. Whom? I Who? said Who? me. But are you a ghost? I'm not a ghost. Then Iba? But why? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. You can't see me through your right eye, only your left. The next evolution of the 3DS AR cards. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. Hmm. Interesting. You do that. Change it. Be Reika from Teeth Blau. <laughs> I will not. Why not? Because I won't. Damn. It's worth it. It's worth a try, Dante. I am connected to your brain via artificial nerve. I am part of your working brain. Our minds are one. During the sync, when the data that constitutes your ego is transferred, some of my main programming is also transferred. That is why I appear insomnia. Do I even need to explain this sort of thing to you? I have experienced syncing many times with you. Although, it is true that I have never appeared to you in this form. It was somewhere around here, right? Where I heard the phone ring. Affirmative. The source can't be far. The phone must be nearby. I do not know if it actually exists. Dreams consist of memories, but that does not mean that they perfectly mirror reality. In fact, it is more common that what occurs in dreams is distorted. For example, the events witnessed in the last Somnium were absurd, exaggerated, 
or otherwise warped. Yeah, uh, that, I, I thought Vision that, that some, some people have pointed out that Iba's hair looks a lot like Boss's. And it's definitely led to a lot of theory crafting. Clearly, they do not represent exactly what happened in reality. The ringtone as well. Mizuki didn't necessarily hear it. I understand that. But it's our only lead. As I mentioned earlier, I cannot say for certain if there was a phone here. However, if there is, it must be well hidden. CSI has already searched the area thoroughly, but they did not discover anything. Well hidden, huh? Maybe a place you can't see with the naked eye. Check the horse. Oh. Look at that. It appears to be a smartphone. I knew it was in the horse. Don't lie. You doubted me. So how do I get it out? I cannot find any weaknesses or seams in the horse's body. The horse's neck does not detach either. There must be some hole or something. I found one. Where? The mouth of the horse. I might be able to fit inside. One moment. Good job, Iva. Creature. All right. Iva, who owned this phone? The number is... This is a rental phone. A rental? The owner is unknown. It is registered under a false identity. Come on. Don't fall. It's all right. Do not worry about me. I'm not worried about you. I just don't want to get dirt in my eye socket. Hmm. <laughs> how disrespectful. Do you know how hard it was to make that form? No. <laughs> Thank you. Cute. Do not worry about me. Finish your search and investigation. You should find some clues. Okay, yeah, I'll check the phone. Date, look at the device history. It's gone. No outgoing call history. What about the incoming history? Only one call, 9.02 p.m. yesterday. Mizuki and Ota discovered the corpse at approximately 9 p.m. Mizuki must have heard this phone. That would connect to what we experienced in Somnia. Who is the call? Their name isn't displayed. The number isn't in their contacts. In fact, there are no contacts, no numbers at all. That one call. This number is also from a rental phone. No owner is registered. Oh. What happened? The battery died. The screen turned off. Hmm. Something tells me the battery's not dead. Iba. Remember the number I just gave you? Of course. Call it. Uh, my name is Konami Date. I'm with the Metropolitan no. Police. <laughs> no! Are you an idiot? They hung up. Oh, you think so? What kind of low IQ ignoramus calls a suspicious number and says they are from the police? I couldn't help it. I wasn't ready. I just said the first thing that came into my head. You told me to call. I didn't think it would work. Disappointing. Uh, he certainly tried it. There's no other word for it. You're telling me. Let's call it again. Iba. Can you call it again? I'll be ready this time. Are you sure? Yeah, trust me. The number you have dialed is no longer in service. Damn, call deny. Call deny? Yeah, call denied. Oh, the thing Reka from the Cabaret Club <laughs> did to your number. <laughs> You remember that? Let's call Reiko. What? Why? I want to hear her voice. She put you on call deny. Can't you try from another line? I can, but I won't. 
Use a payphone if you want to call her. Yeah. Yeah, we know you don't fucking have your own phone. I mean, I get it, because I was able to serve as that replacement, but Jesus Christ. Probably someone involved in the incident. They hung up as soon as they heard you mention the police, then refused further incoming calls. That behavior is at the very least suspicious. Near 3rd Street, Shinjuku. That's a wide range. Can you tell if they called from a smartphone? They did. I can tell from the number. Does it have GPS? The phone is likely capable of that function, but it has been disabled. The power also appears to be off. I cannot connect from any line, because you blew it. <sighs> She's right. Unknown, but it does appear to be deliberate. Did the culprit do this, or did someone else? And for what specific purpose? There would be no point to that now. The recipient is alerted to our presence and likely on the move. Right. Iba, let's get going. There's nothing more here. Where are we going? Iris is. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, let's let's, let's, let's see if she's hopefully alive. Absurd. Let's hope so. Well, yeah, let's get our last minute investigations through. Oh god, I, yeah, I just remind myself when, uh, on the Switch version, the, the little, like, the clips for, for these, you know, whenever you investigate something, would take an unusually long amount of time to load. Like, it would just be fucking stuck there. Not necessarily a bad version of the game, but it definitely, uh, definitely not the best optimized. So, I'll, I'll, I'll just say it's worth getting if you only have a Switch. Looks pathetic. <laughs> not not switch port. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's go. Shovel Forge with me tomorrow. No, I didn't. I did promise to go on a date with you. Tomorrow? It's not even midnight yet. I kept my promise by staying home, so you need to keep your promise, Date. Where's your mom? <laughs> by the way, where's your mom? She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. She looked kind of panicky, too. I don't like the sound of that. Where did she go? Uh, don't know. She didn't tell me. I'm hop, hop, hoppy, happy. God, she's such a weirdo. Hop, hop, hop. Rabbit goes hop. Please, be normal. Why do you ask? Oh, well... Because I saw your dead body in a dream. Are you seriously going to tell her that? You hush. Hmm? Oh, did you want something to drink? No, sorry. I should be going. What? Leaving already? Yeah, I have some work to do. Well, will you at least watch my stream at one? Stream? Don't you remember? I'm an internet idol. And you're gonna stream online? Yeah. At 1 a.m. At 1 in the morning. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're a young woman. You shouldn't stay up so late. Oh, jeez, you sound like an old man. Because he is an old man. He's 30. I'm not that old. It's fine. Today isn't for work, it's just a personal stream. That's not the issue. And tomorrow is Sunday. 
The day isn't the issue either. Anyway, please watch, okay? I'll ask you about it on tomorrow's date. Fine. But also at the same time, I don't think he understands how Twitch works. Date, I have been thinking. I am glad that nothing bad happened. Yeah, you're right. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Oh god, the thought of death streaming Ultra Despair Girls actually just appropriately gives me despair. I'm never fucking touching that game again. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're back in the prop room. Hopefully more dialogue. No, no, come on, talk to yourself. Come on, talk to yourself. Do it. Let's play a word game. Okay, bring it on. Say white ten times. White, 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 white. Think of your favorite cabaret girl. Now, what does a cow drink? Milk. <laughs> oh, I love him. I'll talk, I'll, I'll talk with Mario. Man, he's quiet. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. You said that about the soccer ball yesterday. Oh, that just reminded me of his balls. Because of the size, you know? Well, at least you dropped the subtlety. That sounds like a serious medical condition. It certainly does. That means rest in peace. As in, sleep peacefully. Who's it for? Ma, from the host club. I'm not sure if that's a reference or not. R.I.P. specifically refers to the Latin phrase requiescat in pace. Boss is correct about the general meaning. <laughs> Ma is too stumbling, I guess. <sighs> I'm a sucker for white wine. Shame you don't have an eye for it. I have a right eye. Oh my god. This man's stupid. And a left. Hey boss, why are you always sitting on top of the desk? Because I like to be on top of my work. You sit that way on the off chance you get the opportunity to use a pun? Knowing her, yes. That's a handsome devil. Or would I rather be an angel? That's a tough one. <laughs> Why do you have that here? We're six floors underground, right? What if it rains? We might get flooded. I don't think a floaty would save us in that predicament. I don't know, he might. That's my boyfriend from about 10 years back. We had a bad breakup, so I sliced his head off and coated it in plaster. <laughs> what's, that, what's that one comic where uh, the fucking two guys are about to wrestle and one of them starts, do, starts saying like, Kame, he says, I, I, I know he probably couldn't do it, but I didn't want to take my chances. If you put that mask on, spikes come out that drink your blood. God damn it. Is that a... 
it, could it could it could it be a, a reference to a certain that sounds familiar now I picked up snowboarding recently. Oh? This really hot guy from Kabuki Cho invited me, so. She's trying it. That was a piece of evidence in a case about eight years ago. A mathematics teacher used it to stab her boyfriend when she found out he was cheating on her. The triangular ruler must have come in handy for solving that love triangle. Boo. Boo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that party a while back how long have you had that up every day is like my birthday every day I'm reborn as a new woman <laughs> it's good luck you know whether it's catching fish or catching criminals That's everything. Now let's go ahead and... Oh, the rug. I, I, oh, right, we didn't do the rug in the first trip. Oh, well. About Renju. Renju? Yesterday, I told you he vanished after he was questioned. Well, we found him. Where? Central Hospital. He was brought there from a traffic accident. Yep. <laughs> Same He's one. unconscious <laughs> and it's not looking good. Could it be? Capital Highway? Oh, you heard about it? We heard the report on the radio last night. I can't believe it was about Renju. Man, what a fucking coinky dink. I asked HQ to look into it. They found a few things. First, the owner was Shoko Nadami. It was Shoko's phone? Yes. Her face was registered in the phone's facial recognition authentication. Nice. Who called it? Who called the phone? Sorry, we don't know that yet. They called from a burner phone. They didn't register a name. I can make a deduction with this information. We know that the phone belonged to Shoko. Right. Whoever it was made their call at 9.02 p.m. after Shoko was killed. I believe we can make an assumption here. The caller probably wasn't the murderer. Why would they call the phone of the person they just killed? Maybe. But the culprit might have been trying to get Mizuki to call so that they can bring her to the scene. But then why hide the phone? They would have left it somewhere easier to find. True. But either way, our mysterious caller is suspicious. Consider this. They did not register the phone under their real name. And also, they hung up as soon as Date mentioned he was a cop. And on top of that, they blocked Date's number and turned off the phone. The blame lies entirely with Date. I suggest cutting his salary. I'll cut your battery. Do it. I'll plug in somewhere. <laughs> I bet. Anyway, we have to identify the caller. If you don't want your salary cut. Fine. All the history's been erased. There's nothing on the phone itself, but we can still look up its records. I happen to have a friend at the cell company. The head office is looking into it now. She was returned to the hospital after the sink. She'll probably be hospitalized for a while. Hmm? Strange. Mizuki's phone is at home, Date. 
The GPS uh -huh. and Wi-Fi access point confirm this. She went home by herself? Possibly. But why? Unknown. We should probably take a detour. But first, uh... There's been no progress, as usual. The people at the main office are so incompetent. The smartphone you brought in yesterday is still our only lead. Hopefully there'll be a breakthrough. Hopefully. Date, you should go talk to him. He is Shoko Nodami's former husband, after all. He might have some information. But he's still asleep, isn't he? Smack him across the face and wake him up. You're his friend, right? He'll understand. <sighs> Come he was, on. He, he, he was putting critical grazing from a car accident. That's probably not the best idea. Oh, okay, let's talk to you. There are many points of interest surrounding Mizuki, but we will need to speak with her directly. I hope she gets better soon. I am watching the case file of Shoko Nagami as it is updated in real time. Currently, it appears as though there has been no significant progress. Hmm. Hey, Date. Why not go to that bar you haven't been to in a while? Bar? Marble in Golden Yokocho. <laughs> Renju, wake up. <laughs> he fucked up. Dante. Anything stand out to you? Dante, you promised to go on a date with Iris yesterday. No, don't tell her that. What exactly are you planning to do? What? Seriously? It's a social date. A man's promise is his bond. You absolutely must keep your word. I mean, you were also telling Dante that he was like... I mean, not, not directly. You're basically just telling him off for even agreeing to this. Have you ever heard of a white lie? So, you're gonna act like it never happened. That's not what I said. The day's not over yet. If I go see her and socialize for a bit, that's a date, right? Sound logic. So you are not planning a real date then? No, of course not. If you say so. You almost sound relieved, Iba. Pardon? Uh. Are you jealous? Uh. Uh, impossible! I could never be jealous of a silly little human like her. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> Iba, let's move. Roger that. Okay, uh, yep, so we have three points of interest. Uh... Yeah, so you know what? Renju's probably still out cold. Let's go to... let's go see Mizuki first. Mother. Yes, but why? Oh, Date. Sorry for showing up like this. Mizuki, what are you doing? Hitting the reps? What's it look like? Bench pressing. You can talk. Fucking a hundred kilos. Yes, she's no longer mute. I actually don't remember the conversion counts, I a but, uh, message from Izuki last night. pretty fucking big. Teacher, can you please help me? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much, I couldn't say no to one of my students. You're her teacher? That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. I went to the hospital to pick her up. I was trying to get louder, earlier. but, I mean, probably, probably had the proof of her being the, uh, the teacher, so... She got a Nile message from someone. Mizuki wrote a note saying that she wanted to go home, not to Renju's house, but here. So that's the story. I apologize for coming over without asking. Alright, uh... 
You're a studious man, aren't you, Date? I heard from Mizuki. Whenever she's not around, you're always on your computer watching training videos. Training videos, huh? Training huh? Videos? Yes, a female secret agent caught in the enemy's hideout or something. Huh. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, that. Right. Mizuki, did you watch that movie? Only the title. Don't touch my computer without asking. <laughs> Whatever could that mean? <laughs> every, every dignified person has a cork board in their room. Oh, see, so yeah, this is what I mean. This is a nice sound system. Oh, it's nothing special. It's not top of the line. I only spent a couple million yen. Ah. <laughs> oh, so it's cheap. That's good. I spilled soda on it on accident. You did what? <laughs> Haven't paid off yet, despite being on fucking police salary. That's terrifying. Mind you, he's been he's been on police salary well since the you know like I mean, lose his memory if we're just building off of that budget. Yeah, that this shit must have been like fucking super expensive then. That stuffed animal, it's Mizuki's favorite character. What's its name again? Yeah, that's Ad Rabbit. You gave it to Mizuki on her birthday. You don't have to tell her that. I'm sorry. Also, yeah, Date the Gremoni is relegated to the couch. I mean, yeah, you're you're not necessarily wrong considering this apartment looks to be really fucking small. Assuming that that, well, actually, no. The weird thing is that the um was well, in a later part. It's implied that this is the bathroom. So, like, what the fuck is the, the fucking infrastructure of this apartment complex? Oh, you know, it's the entrance, but I don't know. Fucking weird. Date, I'm sorry. I looked inside your fridge earlier. Why do you have so much meat in there? Oh, I'm on a diet. You see, I'm, I'm a recovering vegetarian. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, please. <laughs> Calm down. You actually got a laugh. Man, sleeping on this for four years straight. How the fuck is your spine in alignment? pattern on this cushion oh don't touch that <laughs> oh, okay that makes a little more sense I've never actually uh, really lived in a college dorm uh, so I, I wouldn't happen to know that's Date's rule Date is it true Mizuki told me you hit a magazine under the rug something about eating a nice spread oh <gasps> <laughs> Why did you hide a cooking magazine? <laughs> I never I never got that line <laughs> until now. <laughs> this is what I mean when I say it like Punchline is objectively hornier than this, but it's like consistent. This one chooses to just fucking give you a punch to the liver. Yeah, no, no, D Date is absolutely the, the kind of chat that would eat out. Getting armies, of course.
Yeah, I'm fine, thanks to you. Well, not exactly you. Wow. It was teacher who stayed with me all night. Go see the x-ray. Nuts. A plate of medical grade titanium in her right shoulder. Oh. Man, she has a really long neck. Uh, let's talk to Mizuki first. I couldn't. It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Because you don't talk. Because you don't listen. She's my teacher. She's special. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. Oh, I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally, but I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she just looks so lonely. Well, yeah, I mean, both her parents aren't the greatest in the world. I can't help myself. What's wrong with Daddy? You haven't heard? Heard what? She does not know about the accident. I I'm, I'm surprised she did not pursue that line of questioning. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 8.05 last <laughs> night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. Man. <laughs> Man, Mizuki's parents really suck. Well, her birth parents, at least. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki District. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime right there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Why were you holding the ice pick? When I got there, the ice pick was, it was, it was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I, the only thing I could think was, I had to get it out. So you pulled it out. Yeah. After Ota ran away? Yeah. Did you hear any sounds? Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that, but I don't remember where it was coming from. I just got scared and ran into the column. The door was open a little, so... Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. So it was not Mizuki who took the eyeball? No. It was already gone when she got there. That eyeball has yet to be found. It was probably taken by the culprit. Alright, what do you gotta say? Yes, elementary school. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki's school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but he described you as a relative. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation to me. I asked Mizuki's belongings, a backpack and a pipe. Who else but Mizuki? There's not a separate uh, point of interest for the sink. There's a towel, at least. In just a few months, she'll need a bigger backpack. They grow up so fast. I 
I have no idea what she uses it for. Oh, so yeah, look, look at that wardrobe. That's because we're rational people. <laughs> Okay, honestly, <laughs> you do have a, he really fucking just tried to try. He actually did try it. God damn it. <laughs> Are you that guy from Twitter? Um, debatably. Does it bother you? Can you not move it? No. I can't even feel it, I'm afraid. Was there an accident, or...? I suppose you might call it that. About six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. Goddamn. The nerves died, and... Oh, you monster! <laughs> I should've- I should've known you were building up that bit. Fucking anyway, villainy in my chat. The story is, one day a criminal broke into my house, and he was carrying a gun. And the way he talked, he sounded insane. Drugs? Maybe. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. Just a random crime. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> You said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes, at Eitoku High. And you work at the public school here? That's right, a district elementary school. Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? Well, I hadn't always planned on being a teacher, but... It wasn't a coincidence that Mizuki ended up in my class. Renju seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. Oh, uh, oh yeah, no. How, how you doing, Mocha? They even moved to get into my school district. That was about five years ago, in spring. Before the divorce? Yes, but I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. Damn, I'm taking the train every day. You know what? I actually don't know. Oh, that's good. I didn't do anything special. Open, open, open these have been getting better. I just held her against me. Held her? I was hugging her close to me all night. When dawn came, I heard her say, Teacher, and then she started to cry. As you can see, she's fine now. She had a lot bottled up. It came out with the tears, I think. Two of them. She's a little quiet, but she's a very clever girl. And more than anything, she is kind. Come on, I'm just gonna... Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Not that she has a perfect disciplinary record, but she's a good girl. What's on her record? There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. Another time, she punched the bully so hard that he chipped a tooth. Holy shit. Sounds like more than just incidents. But I like that about her. She's a little clumsy, and just like Renju. Hmm. Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. Hmm. Is there something wrong? No. It's nothing. Alright. Was there anything that I missed here? <laughs> Training videos. Alright, uh, yeah, because I think I got every bit here. I think... Oh, wait, no. Right, I think we need to reinvestigate the arm plate. Or... 
or not. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's what. Okay. Let's go to the hospital next. There's no one here. Indeed. The bed is empty. Damn. Alright. <laughs> Fucking skedaddled skadoodled. Bedside table, headlight fable. That's not even a thing. Fucking brain empty. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna try. Currently, I'm on the iris route, uh, right side. But I will, I obviously, I mean, I'm gonna have to circle. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna circle around to the, uh, to the left side at some point. I'll probably, I'll probably try and gun for Mizuki first if I remember how her route is triggered. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah good point. Yeah. I'll be mean, well, I mean, as last as I can do it, because obviously after a while it does start to railroad you. But yeah, I'll, try, I'll probably try and go for Mizuki last, just given uh, given the nature of things. I'm a nurse. I work here. I'm assigned to Mr. Okiera. I forget. Does it actually... Oh yeah, no, she hasn't added to the, uh, to the registry yet. Likes Amore. <laughs> Skills imitating Boo Boo Zelas. <laughs> what a fucking weirdo! I love him. Also, yeah, was uh, I mean like I, I'll basically I'll try and keep his excuse for last, but if I end up going first earlier or what or whatever, like basically we're kind of we're basically just gonna wing it. Um. Mr. Okiura's room. I'm certain of it. He snuck out at night. Snuck out? Mr. Okiura arrived with internal injuries. The surgery was successful, but he was in no condition to move. He would have opened up his wounds, and then he would be in real trouble. Real trouble? Yes. I can't believe it. Where could he have gone? Renju is extremely suspicious. He has no alibi for the time of Shoko's murder. Yeah, I mean, like, he would definitely be suspicious given that he walked out with fucking life-threatening critical injuries. That was noted in the investigation report. That's not so strange, though. There's more. I cannot reach Renju by any means. He has not attempted to visit Mizuki in the hospital, even though she is his daughter and witnessed a traumatic event. Despite all this, he runs from the hospital, even with substantial injuries. Yeah, there you go. Perhaps this is an escape. Yeah? Iba, call an escape. Roger that. Oh. Hello, this is Lemnus Gate Entertainment Offices. <laughs> I fucking love that they gave her a Valley Girl accent. One of the best choices a dub could have made. Let me hear your message. Thank you. Do you have any idea where he might be? Uh, sorry, no clue. I'm trying to get in touch with him too. So far, nothing. I'm getting worried. He must be a mess right now. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's, that's one way of putting it. Maybe he's at the maid cafe. Yeah, I haven't really heard any sort of conflicting opinions depending on who did left or right first. For reference, uh, I, again, wasn't even intentional. I forgot the, uh, the ordering, but I had done well, my first place where I did right side, then jumped back to left before then going back to right. Maid cafe? Do you mean Sunfish Pocket? Yeah, that's the one. Like, out of nowhere, Renji was like, I'm gonna rent out Sunfish Pocket. I guess he was gonna throw, like, a secret party or something? Also, yeah, Cash, uh, Greg Chun does a fucking fantastic job as Date, and then it's, it's also why I'm, like, feeling that slight temptation to play Judgment, Lost Judgment with the dub, but I may stick to Japanese just for the sake of consistency. 
What the fuck? Some, something's going on above me. Whatever. Right, with the accident and all. Hold on. Still, he might be there. Weird. Whatever. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Farewell. Yeah, I've I've heard a dub for pocket, huh? for judgment is really really good. It's just one of those things where if I'm uh, since I'm playing Yakuza obviously in Japanese, just given circumstance, I might end up just sticking to Japanese for judgment as well, just to keep things consistent. I will, I will at least probably like maybe check out a couple sections in English and just kind of get a feel for how it is. Do a sequel. The first guy you fight is Bryce Pappenbrook. That's really fucking funny, actually. It is worth going. I actually, out. really, I don't mind Bryce. I just think he's miscasted a lot, but that's still a really, really funny decision. He's not here, as you can see. Yeah, I get. I, I yeah, I, I know it's a whole new cast, though. Is, is there really not any any single uh, cameo appearances? Cause I, I, I guess one there's at least like one or two minor characters that do appear between games. I'll see. Let's let's go to Marvel first because we we've been hold off on that. Plus, it uh, it's home to one of my favorite characters from this game. Okay. All right, yeah, then, um, also, I'll, I'll, I'll see how I feel about it when we well, started. Well, if it isn't Dante. Also, yeah, Mom is such a fucking base character. Long time no see. Is something wrong? Also, wh whoever casted Kaiji Tang as her is absolutely amazing. No, I just... About Shoko Nadami, Ren's ex. Actually, yeah, I've heard, I forget if Mom is non-binary or not. I, I, I remember her profile mentioning as such, or them. You're as sharp as ever. Oh, let me, see, let me let me see if they got added to the case file. Uh, not yet. Okay. Also, yeah, yeah, we 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 have to fucking investigate the fridge every time we go here. I saw it all on the news. How awful. Mama, my goodness, you've changed since I last saw you. You're such a square now. Excuse me, that is a fridge. <laughs> I remember, I never, I never knew about the refrigerator gag, so I only caught like one of the last ones. So it, it's gonna be nice actually catching all of these now. Happy Pride, everyone. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, we'll see. should probably get updated once, uh, once we leave. I've been okay. How are you, Date, honey? I don't see you around here much anymore. I've been busy. You used to come all the time. You and Ren, grumbling over your glasses of bourbon. Laughing, drowning each other's sorrows, sometimes getting into arguments. One time it even became a real fight. You remember that? Really? Oh, yes. You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. Wonder why. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Yeah, uh, let's uh, I'll get some of the other points of interest. Date, what do you call a bottle of beer on your face? Um, a beard? Why would you do that? <laughs> Think this counts bars i do not appreciate your pun oh my god <laughs> the fucking pain this is inflicting upon me
This is a painting of St. Sebastian. St. Sebastian was a faithful Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian on January 20th, 288 AD. He was martyred. Thanks for history lesson. This painting depicts his execution. Something wrong, Dante? You're staring awful hard. Nothing. Just caught my eye. Why now of all times? That's been hanging there for a while. Really? Yeah. It was a gift from Ren a while back. I've always had it there. Very interesting gift choice. Duck woman's upper lip. The, the, the fact that Dante doesn't even question it is just kind of proof of how long he's been in this bar. Ben and Clyde do right by me. I think that covers everything. Let me just. Oh, right, TV. Hey, Date. Wanna watch Men in Fundoshi's pounding drums? No thanks. I'm good. Damn, no taste. Let's see. And the only there's anything up here. Oh, hang on. Okay, yeah, that's everything. I have something, but I don't know how useful it will be. No, tell me. You know how Shoko was a representative of that investment company? Yeah. They were part of a massive fraud scheme. Really? That's right. And they were in bed with the Kumakuras, the Yakuza gang. Oh yeah, fuck, I can't wait. So maybe... I can't wait till we finally fucking meet like, another runner-up for favorite character. I don't know for sure. But they were capable of it. Maybe Shoko did something to piss off the wrong people, and they punished her for it. It's been a while. I have no idea. What's wrong with Ren? Oh no, really? Yeah. I see. I'll contact you if I get anything. Please do. Oh, right, no, we have to... Oh, no, we can't investigate those separately, it's just... Hmm, that's unusual. Not a bourbon. I'm working. I drink at work all the time. We have very different occupations. It's kind of the same. <laughs> I make people throw up, you make people throw up the truth. That's actually pretty clever. Yeah, his favorite watch. He got it from his new lover. An anniversary gift. Oh, this was, of course, after the divorce. <laughs> Ren was so happy. He showed it off to me. He's had that watch on him ever since. Wonder why. Shoko was involved in illegal activities. Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. The Kumakuras. They have a relationship with Renju. I remember him telling me that. Do you want to pay them a visit? Yeah. I hope it won't cause problems. What are you doing by the- Polishing Bonito. It is not well known, but dried Bonito is a fermented food. They are boiled and dried, which attracts a particular mold as it ages. It takes between three to four mold attraction sessions and results in high quality Bonito. Mama is cleaning off the mold right now. Wide? All right, let's go to Sunfish Pocket first. Oh, also, yeah, a uh, little uh, 999 poster over on the left, which actually does uh, 
Which, that and the announcement trailer for Nirvana Confirmed Zero Escape is still a video game in this universe. <laughs> Which is a little funny. Welcome home, Sea King. Sea King? Oh! <laughs> is this your first time here? Uh, sorry. I'm not here as a customer. I need to talk to someone about something. No! No! No, 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 no. I forgot he is here. Jeez, kid. Excuse me. Oh, sir! Oh, wait a minute! I don't think I can take another interaction with this fucking creature. Date? Oh, and I forgot we're going to probably see that cutscene that keeps coming back around. <laughs> Are you a regular here? Sure am. I come here whenever I've got time and money. I was here yesterday, too. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no worries. Have a good night. Around 6.30, I think, but I couldn't get in. I saw a sign at the entrance that said the whole place got rented out for some party. But I came all the way to Akihabara, you know? I didn't want to just go home, so I bought a new one. A new what? A phone? I dropped my old one in a puddle, remember? Because I'm worried about Tessa. Iris, what's the matter? Yesterday night. Well, it was past midnight, so more like this morning. I don't care about the timing. What happened? Tessa was streaming, as usual, from her living room at home, but suddenly... Actually, let me just show you. I always record her streams. <laughs> you know, in a roundabout sense, yes, Renju does in fact own Ota. I never thought about that. Like, in, in a cosmic sort of way, yes. I'm kinda nervous. It's been a while. I'll try my best. Okay, everyone. Here's my debut song. Let's hit it. Man, imagine, I'm imagining Ota just absolutely seething as he hears, oh, could Sorry, it be Dante everyone. again? <laughs> Something came up, but I've got to go for now. I'll sing the rest next time. Bye. The fuck you drinking? <laughs> Sounds about right for Ota. <laughs> what did he mean by this? One hour into the stream, so about 2 a.m.? That's weird, right? Someone coming to visit at 2 in the morning? And then she leaves? She looked really serious, too. I was worried about her, so I tried to call, but she didn't read any of my Nile messages either. I thought maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Tessie used to work here. She made a lot of friends. I'm one of them. But I don't know what she's up to. I asked the other girls, too, but no one knows anything. Iva, call Iris. You are attempting to dial is either offline or unavailable. Oh boy. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. Thanks, Sleep Paralysis Demon. I know I can count on you. Something wrong, sir? Uh, no. You know, Pewter really is just a Sleep Paralysis Demon given form. I wonder if Tessa's okay. I'm 
so worried about her, I can barely eat. Standing, standing there with his Team Rocket outfit. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay, stream rule. Every fucking time that scene comes up, I'm skipping it because that plays like fucking five times or more in this, in this entire game. I'm sorry, I, my, my fucking brain can't take it. Option, uh, <laughs> 2,000 yen. Man, Rendu's Ren probably fucking got all the money in the world if he's t getting uh, enough profits from this place. It's not a spear, it belongs to Poseidon. God of the sea? You know, a trident? Why do you have that? We treat our customers like lords of the sea. We give them these tridents. It's like a little ranking system we do. Oh, it's only two more times. Okay, I, I could have sworn it was way more than that. Probably. <laughs> then again, probably my brain playing tricks on me because of how much I hate it. The color changes depending on your rank. There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and at the very top, or a calcum. So it basically measures how much money you've spent on these girls. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. It's more like a way to exploit their vanity. That's worse. To separate our customers from their money as much as possible. That sounds even worse. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <gasps> oh. Date, I must be the bearer of bad news. Even with X-ray, her clothes will not turn transparent. Your heart rate and blood pressure is rising. The concentration of phenylethylamine in your blood is rising rapidly. What are you excited about? Let's do it again. Her hips? Are you seeing this? I'm about to cry tears of joy. Do you have a paraphilia for bones? <laughs> I forgot this is I forgot there's a trophy for that. Let's do it one more time. You seriously disgust me, Date. The pelvis, though. At this cafe, the maids and clerks are referred to as mermaids. By the way, I didn't introduce myself yet. I'm Konami Date of the Metropolitan Police Department. You're a detective? Something like that. Yeah, see, that's, that's all you had to say you when Iris was asking. Up. You wouldn't have to tell her about Abyss. When was the last time he came here? Hmm, let me think. He's just the owner, not the manager, so... He comes sometimes, but not all that often. That's what we call the customers. Us mermaids serve the Sea Kings. And we really are mermaids, you know. What? Everyone working here is a real mermaid. But you have legs. They were a gift from Poseidon. We were given legs and feet so that we can gather riches and foreign currency in the labor market. <laughs> Date, let's go. No, oh, not yet. There's still so much to learn. Do not listen to her siren song. Also, it's always bothered me how, uh,. How different shades of blue her hair are depending on the lighting. Like it changes drastically. Like you saw in her little like her portrait in the lower left, it's like a deep blue, but here it's like very much of a uh, cotton candy tone. How the fuck do I call it? What kind of furniture can you drink? Um, a uh, light beer? Nope. Rice? You can't drink rice. The answer is liquefied leather sofa. What? How would anyone ever guess that? Can you even drink that? Also, yeah, I saw her, I, I saw her showing up in some screenshots of uh, Nirvana Initiative, so I'm very excited for her to actually get flushed out. 
Because for here, you only really see here in Sunfish Pocket, uh, and nowhere else. It looks like a flotation device, right? But it's actually a huge donut. <laughs> you absolute disgrace! How many times have I told you to cut the bone properly, you bastard? Gordon Ramsay? Does every, oh my god, every customer has the exact same comment, they're all just fucking deathly ill. So, who's your type, Date? Sorry, but no one stands out to me. I don't go for the spawn, I'm more of a big catch fisherman. Uh, what? I think he's saying he likes older women. Based! 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 Face. I'm still gold. Not that good. How much did you spend to get that? Um, about two hundred thousand yen. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I suddenly understand why someone would want to kill another human. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely not. Oh, oh, oh unless you mean Dodd, unless you mean the, uh, the fucking, the previous comment about the, the spawn, whatever. True. No, haven't seen him. Is this related to what happened at Bloom Park? The body on the merry-go-round was Renju's ex wife I didn't know that she was Mizuki's mom. Did she change her name or something? Mizuki saw her own mother's dead body, and I just left her there and ran away like a coward. I'm such a piece of shit. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I should have stayed. I should have done something. Why did I do that? Oh, is it eating you up inside, Ota? Yeah, seriously. No. <laughs> While you're sitting here adding up your options? But you can order two, Date. That's not why I'm mad, Ota. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I need to get out of here. Date, Renju is not at this location. We have other areas we need to search. Yeah, you're right. Hold on, let's see. Did I miss anything? Security camera. That's it. <laughs> That's all it says. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, that's, see, that's that's the worst part, and why I have made made an unconditional rule to skip every one of the scenes because I I need to like just dispel that from my ears. Zach did a fantastic job voicing him in the worst way possible. You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? <laughs> you bastard! Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? So, 
You want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. I fucking... It'll, it'll, be, it'll be a minute before we learn, but I think MoMA is, is also just like one of the best characters in this game. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. Two days ago at Bloom Park, a woman's corpse was found. Have you heard the name Shoko Nidami? Sure have. How? Also, fun fact about uh, about MoMA is Japanese voice actor whose name is escaping at the moment. Uh, also voiced Okuyasu in uh, JoJo Part 4, among others. Very, very distinct voice. Heard it on the news. The media is making a real fuss about this new serial killer. Can't help but hear about it. I cannot. The power is off. Okay. <laughs> I still need to watch uh, Doro Hidora. Kumakura Crest. Talk to you in a minute. Let's just, uh... <gasps> oh! If I make a wish, will it come true? That is not Shenron. <laughs> I wish... for panties. <laughs> I told you, that's not Shenron. God damn it. <laughs> there would be no point in talking to him in that state. Yeah, he's fucking he's out cold. <laughs> the kind that knifes nicely at night. Oh. I got nothing to say to you. Think that pulls out into a bed. What would be the point of that? Uh oh. Wow, that is a big flying squirrel. That is a tiger. <laughs> Every now and then you're forced to remind you that Date is peak himbo. After 40, your toenails grow slower. I mean, I guess. right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. Interesting. You the chairman. Yo, asshole. You need a lesson in manners? Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. He left to his death from the roof of a building. Oh shit. A suicide. But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six years ago. Ah, oh, six years ago. Fuck no. Why would we do that? Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. 
I have no idea what you're talking about, cop. You must have gotten some bad info. Dante, look at this. The thermograph from when you inquired about Shoko. Body temperature rising. Red hot line. It appears that way. How do I get him to come to it? Remove his fingernails one by one. Jesus. Not my style. Blackmail him? Blackmail? Find his weakness and threaten him with it. Let's examine the room. Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. Hmm. Ah. Idle fan detected. There's a hidden safe behind the crest. There is something inside. I recognize that. It's just like the one I saw in Matsushita Dot and Asa. Correct. But why is that there? Unknown. But perhaps. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a fan of Asa, would you? What? Who's that? A schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? He's tough as bricks and hard as nails. Never be in a pussy shit like that, fucker. Okay, bet. Fear of water. Water. Wait, uh, sweat. He said, he said you bet. Shadows. Shadows. Threat, a uh, silhouette, he said. Fears. Fears. Upset? Uh, regret? He said. Just as I thought. Boss? What's this? Sh shut up! Don't look at me! Get out of here! Did you hear me? I said get the fuck out of here! Yes, yes sir. I've got your secret now. If you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I had no idea you were an How idol you fan. Know? You're hiding an ascent figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. Yeah, sure. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. Mandatory, huh? We only got back this morning. You've been asked a hotel. I'll tell you. Dante, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Roma. What about Rohan? Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. But he's gone now. A suicide. Yeah, after breaking out of the hospital. How is he hospitalized? About 20 years back, both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. The doctors say he can still see, but it doesn't register. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. Date, a question for Moma. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Was he left-handed? Yeah, he was. Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. I actually don't know if this is pseudoscience or actual, like, real sci sci uh, science. Ugh. MoMA just Morning confirmed speak. that Rohan was left-handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Rohan suffered a beating on the left side of his head. That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. Anyway, 
After getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. He became cold-blooded. I'm talking ruthless. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peeler to him. From the toe to the thigh. Oh, oh I forgot about that line. Ugh. Totally blank expression. Like he was scraping bonito flakes. Anyway, sick fuckers like that always end up running the world, don't they? He started climbing the ranks, and eventually he was taken in by the Ujisaki family bond. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, and that's how we became the Kumakuras. About six years ago, I remember him telling me about something big. Some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. He didn't give me the details, but I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Anyway, his plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. But whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. A few days later, cops busted him. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder. It was determined that he was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know? His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. Right. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. A company that commits fraud. No comment. Anyway, we never <laughs> had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. Alright, is that it? Yeah, okay, somewhat. No point hiding it, right? Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. Do you know where he is? Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. Looks like he's not lying. Hey, Moma. I've got... Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts. Rumors on where he might be. Any... I need some leads. And what if I refuse? And your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASET fan. <sighs> in exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. He's, M Momo really is just Ota, but not a terrible piece of shit. A reward. I'll let you meet ASAP. What? I met her yesterday at Lemniscate. We're acquaintances now. Really? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. I... The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It was still worth it just to find out Momo is an ASAP fan. Really? That information might come in handy later. It is really valuable information. Let's go somewhere else. I think got what we needed here. Alright, uh... One last sweep. I think I got everything. Almost. Uh... Okay, here we did. <laughs> Scream. C -c Ghost! I have been here for several minutes now. Could you not come out like that? Why not? If people see you, they'll freak out. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. Oh. Right. But returning to your answer... I have a brain worms. Why would people freak out if they saw me? Isn't it obvious? A girl looking like you, dressed like that, sitting next to me? People would think I'm a pervert. Think. Hmm. If you continue saying such things, I will self-destruct. Date, last night when you were asleep, I snuck out and put something inside the glove box. What? Flower in a plastic bag. Why would you do that? I'm a cop. <laughs> Hmm. 
Miss Wyander. That's a broadsword. Oh my god. That was such a stretch. You're really self destructive. AI never lies. So, you weren't kidding. What happens if you self destruct in my eye socket? Your skull would pop like a balloon. Hmm. My body is full of cutting edge technology and state secrets. In terms of hardware as well as software, I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. What if someone managed to steal me? It would threaten not only the police force, but the existence of the state itself. My self-destruct function is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. Strictly speaking, I am not capable of self-destructing. What do you mean? I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by Isaac Asimov. I cannot harm myself. However, a person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. You have such authority. Tell me more. Let us determine a code number, one that will activate the detonator. Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of safety. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? Let's see. How about if I tell a lie? A lie? something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Understood. And one more thing. Even if I die, do not worry. I will not be gone. Huh? Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud, all by wireless community. Even if my body is destroyed, my backup data will not be lost. My memories, as well as my core programming, will be preserved. So you're basically immortal. Yes, as long as the server is alive. That's dangerous. Hey, about that five-digit command, how did you come up with that number? It is my favorite number. There is no particular meaning. Hmm. Really? Let's commence I'm already tired of this, Iba. That's not like you. Is something wrong? Shoko's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours, but our investigation has made zero progress. I'm sorry. I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. In five years, this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. Come with me, to where you belong. Ooh. God, I wish I had amnesia and stro I aimlessly strolled around Shinjuku before I found a 42. Actually, no, I'm sorry, she was 36 at the time. 36-year-old single... I'll keep going. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. This time is different. Let's call Iris. I still cannot contact her. Never mind. Her phone is either off or out of range of cellular signal. Are you worried about her? I mean, yesterday there was definitely something wrong. I saw it in Mizuki's Somnium. Iris's body. Frozen solid. 
That is some freaky shit. Where could Renju be? I also wonder where he could have gone. About Shoko Nadami's murder. We still need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Iba, is that number still turned off? Please wait. Date, the line is connected. Uh -huh. Really? Really. Call it. Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? Uh, let's see. See you from the Cabaret Club. The number you have dialed is no longer in service. So the caller must be a regular there. Do you plan on questioning everyone who's been there? Uh, let's try... His home phone. This is line. No connection. All right, I'll try Chocos. I see. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. If we call from that line, right, he might. But a normal call may yield the same results as before. I have an idea. Do you remember what Shoko's voice sounded like? Yes, I do. I remember everything that I see and- Can you reproduce her voice? Analyzing recorded imitation should be possible. Well then? You want me to call with Shoko's voice? Yeah. Me? You're the only one who can. It is actually a pretty clever plan for a man who had led with, Hey, I'm a policeman. Fine. I suppose we have no choice. Are you sure you can handle this? I am an artificial intelligence, not a human prone to nervous breakdowns and mistakes like you. All right, Hal, let's see what you can do. <laughs> it, it's connected. I thought you said you did get nerfed. Uh, uh, Calm down. Wait a minute. What? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. Focus, they're going to hang up. Um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Impossible. Shoko is dead. Yes, I died two days ago. Idiot, why did you- Oh, by I, I meant my twin sister, Shoku. Your twin sister? His name. Get his name! How? Oh, he gives me an imposter. Don't make the joke. You're an imposter! I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. How did you get that phone? This is my phone. Liar! You're impersonating him! That's enough. I am so Sejima. Ah, got him. <laughs> the congressman. A politician? Sejima. Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? Oh, uh... Sorry, I will call back like Goodbye. Why so? Unknown, but that was definitely so Sejima. I was able to match his voice to public records of him speaking. Oh yeah, oh, 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 you know, um, technically yes, kinda no. Um, was Among Us came out actually before this in 2018, but it didn't explode until later. But I was saying, I mean, for any of you in chat, don't make the reference. <laughs> Performance. Yeah, good job. Is that all? What, do you want me to pat you on the head? N no nothing like that. <laughs> Stop! It tickles! Rub, rub, rub. Stop! The nerve might break! Quirky girl attitude. Date! A call from Investigation HQ. Connect me. This is Special Agent Date from Abyss. My name is Akasuka from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. Is 
some of that unity here. Yeah, you're not wrong. Shoko really is just a fucking woman child. What is it? We got a phone call earlier. From a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here? I'm known as number 89. Oh, hey, DC Douglas. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. But I felt I should give you the heads up anyway. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Good luck. Do you think it really is just a prank? Well, to be sure, look into number 89. Roger that. But for now... So, Saji... Yeah, let's see the politician. T typical politician. Big guck, but no cum. <laughs> hey, you can't be here without permission. I'll call the police. <laughs> oh, what happened, sir? A uh, police officer. You. <laughs> you. Can I help you? I need to ask you a few questions. I'm a very busy man. You can ask me tomorrow during normal business hours. It's about Shoko Nadami. You can't tell me you've never heard of her. As a matter of fact, I have. It was reported on the news that she was killed. Two days ago at 9.02 p.m., you made a phone call to Shoko Nadami. A phone call? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Let's look at the thermograph. Yeah, he's he's lying. So blood. Where's all this red coming from? It's a thermograph. Yeah, I knew that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, he's lying. How do I get him to admit it? Peel off his nails. I should get some pliers and take his nails off. I thought that wasn't your style. <laughs> Bribe him. I'll give you one million yen for the truth. Only one million. Only? <laughs> That's the kind of world he lives in. Okay, fine, let's call him. Iba, call his phone again, using Shoko's line. Understood. You're not gonna pick it up? It's from Shoko. I had her give you a call. What? It'll stop ringing soon. Three, two, one. See? Fine. I did call her. Around nine o'clock, just like you said. Finally confessing? There's nothing to confess. I did nothing wrong. Then why did you lie to me? Because I didn't want to get involved in all of this nonsense. You mean to tell me that I am a suspect? God, what a shit-eating smile he has. <laughs> My call was after Shoko died. If I were the killer, why would I do that? I don't know, but I'm asking the questions. Do you have a warrant? I thought not. I'll be leaving now. Good night, detective. Go home, unless you want to get kicked out. But it's over, Bird. I don't know what you're talking about. So is Alibi? Do you know where So was Friday at 5 p.m.? Here, in the mansion. Can anyone corroborate that? Maybe the housekeeper. I don't know. Even if I did, it would be confidential. I've heard of her, but I've never met her. I saw her on the news. Look, a UFO! Look, a UFO! Look, the Mothman! Look, the Mothman! Look, a grandma! <laughs> Look, a grandma! Look, a porno mag. 
Look, a porno mag on the floor. I like this guy. <laughs> no, nothing special. Not any different from any other politician, anyway. Date, a minute. What happened? So is on the move. Most likely in a car. How do you know? I hacked So's smartphone, and I'm currently tracking the GPS. Not his rental phone. The one registered under his name. Where is he headed? Unknown. Somewhere to the east. Keep tracking him. Roger that. All right, let's go. What was So doing here? Date, my apologies. What's wrong? My battery is low. Are you serious? You weren't charging her in your drive here? I do like the detail that they actually make the, uh, the... I Iba's iris into a uh, like a gray scale to show that she's non-functioning. This is It's a body. Uh, it can't be. I forgot it actually was. Oh shit. <laughs> The e-girl's dead. No. Iba, what's your charge? Currently at 2%. Can you make a call? I can. I am connected to the power supply. What do you... Hurry. Just connect me to boss. Date, what's wrong? I found a body. What? She was murdered. Multiple stab wounds to the back, and one eye missing. Oh, no. Location is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The victim, the victim is Iris Sagan. Iris? I'll tell you more later. Just send CSI to the scene right away. And one more thing. Congressman So Sejima, bring him to Abyss. Wait a minute, why? I'll take responsibility for everything. Just do it, please. <sighs> All right. No, not the E girl. <laughs> the fact that it flashes through the, the fucking her dances. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. God damn it! Do you honestly think you can get away with this? Funny, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Date, calm down. Oh, see, time for an interrogation segment. Let's go. You know Iris Sagan, don't you? No, I don't. I've never heard of her. The 
thinking about how Iris's body was frozen when I discovered it. It must have taken at least 18 hours for the body to freeze to that state. I entered the warehouse at 9 p.m. 18 hours prior to that was 3 a.m. Iris was last seen alive around 2 a.m. She was live streaming, so there's no doubt about the time. Meaning Iris must have been murdered between 2 and 3 in the morning. Iris was live streaming until someone visited her and interrupted the stream. I hadn't been in contact with her for a while. Whoever visited her this morning almost certainly has something to do with the murder. Oh, it is not that. This is the image stored in the persons of interest. Let's show them the picture. So you've never met her before? I have not. Have you seen her corpse? Corpse? I know you've seen her body. Based on what? The fact that you had left a warehouse. Nah. Um. Iris's body was discovered in the oh, Kiowa okay, fishery. Oh, okay, I forgot to put the two. That caught my eye too, but we'll get to that later. The actual murder site is unknown. The lack of blood at the scene makes it highly likely that she was killed somewhere else. Iris's body was found in Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. What does that have to do with anything? This. Iba, play the video. Right away. <laughs> the fact that he couldn't have pressed play and just had Iba do it. I see. Then I suppose you know I was there. Then you saw the body. I didn't. I was at the warehouse, but I didn't see any corpses there. Don't lie to me! It's the truth! Then what were you doing there? I choose to remain silent. You what? Remain silent, as is my right, guaranteed by law. <sighs> Remember that I am a politician. Yeah, unfortunately. I know my rights. God, I hate the fucking smile he does. Date. Can I get a second? What? Does it matter if he saw the body or not in this case? He's a busy man. If we hold him here too long... You want me to stop beating around the bush? I certainly do. You believe that Sosajima is her killer, or is at the very least involved in the crime somehow. Yeah. Why not ask him for his alibi first? Nope. uh... Oh, I was time, duh. Iris was killed sometime between 2 and 3 in the morning. Do you have an alibi for that time? I was playing Mahjong all night at a place called Dora Dora in Shinjuku. Politician spending all night in a Mahjong parlor. An More likely than you think. Mahjong parlor, yes. It's Mahjong, you should have had three opponents with you. Indeed, I'd, but they were all strangers. I don't remember their names. Date, I Dora Dora is a private room Mahjong parlor. It is owned and operated by one individual. If the rooms are private, that limits the number of potential witnesses. The shopkeeper might be in So's pocket. He's the only one we could ask about So's alibi. Especially if he doesn't remember any of the three people he played against. He might as well not have an alibi. That's not much of an alibi, So. Please, this is ridiculous. First you suspect me in the matter of Shoko Nadami, and now this? I haven't killed anyone. Not Shoko, not Iris. Besides, if I stabbed a woman, why would I bring her to a cold storage warehouse? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, you fucked up. Wait, what did you say? Yeah, yeah, you know you fucked up. I saw So walking out of the cold storage warehouse where the corpse was discovered. Iba recorded the whole thing. Just before my battery ran out. At this point, Renju Ren Ren may as well just own, like, a good portion of this general, like, area. Yeah, the autopsy. I never mentioned Iris's. How do you know she was stabbed? Because... Because you did it? Don't be stupid. Then how do you know? Stop dodging the question and answer. <laughs> Boss, give me permission to sink. He can't hide inside his own head. You've got it. Sink with him.
Also, yeah, he, he knew his, he knew his rights and he's so fucked up. Right. Please. Don't, don't forget, forget the six, six minute, minute time limit. You say it every time. Yes, he does. Let us begin. Also, yeah, definitely glad to see that Nirvana Initiative is giving us insight on more of these thinkers. Because I always did find it weird that, like, yeah, Dottie's the main character, but I expected at least one other sinker to show up as like, a cameo in this game. Which, unfortunately, yeah, no. The, no, no one else has shown. Despite, I, I think they confirmed us that there are five others. <laughs> I need to find that edit that Flo made. Well, uh, the Dead Rising one. Did you witness my superior driving technique? Yeah, I saw you get in an accident. No! I only pressed the wrong pedal! That's what you call an accident. Oh, look at that. Don't change the subject. Observe the surroundings. Huh. In a word, I'd say it's... Strange. Maybe this is So's corrupt nature manifesting itself. The man's Somnium is almost as corrupt as he is. I am impressed. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, this is a real bad dream. Let's get the clues we need and get the hell out of here. It's Iris. There what he is. Idol located. Yo, Tota. Oh man, the, the gray man from Danganronpa has evolved into a purple man. Iris! We can't go any closer? We cannot. That silhouette Just fucking skedaddles. This is so Somnium. During a sink, we experience the subject's dreams from a third-person perspective. In other words... It has to be him. I cannot say for certain, but... Probably. What's going on? It appears that time is looping in this warped space. Time is looping? Can't you do something about that? Ah, oh, damn it. You're right. What exactly I never do you suppose I do? You're telling me I have to watch this scene over and over? I don't want to watch it either. Well then? I suppose we can help her. We may then be able to ask this manifestation of Iris some questions. Huh? Sure, do whatever you gotta do. Yes, we have to save Iris, no matter what. Yeah. But to do that, we gotta do something about that huge wooden box. Somnium scan! Activate! There's one. There's two. There's three. I think there's a fourth. Yep, there's a fourth. Oh yeah, uh, one of one of the best uh, Somnium tracks in the game. Look around, see what we can do. A forklift. Are you forklift certified? Apparently not, because driving gives me fucking two death counters. Like I can't remember what the exact effect is off the top of my head. Let's kick it. I see. So this is the bonus stage. 
I get that reference. I didn't do jack shit. We at least got a half. Uh, let's save that for later. Roger just, that. Uh... It is time to unleash the Drift King. Didn't you crash a minute ago? Besides, the forklift is front wheel drive. Bye. <laughs> Have to do that walk of shame. There's something here. Maybe you should jump in. You might unlock a bonus stage. Do you have the mind of a child? Yes. A mysterious. Well, we have this. Like, we we may as well just burn it by throwing the uh, by throwing a pebble through. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that was much louder than I thought it would be. It appears to be connected to that place. That sound makes it hard to believe it was a pebble. A portal. Okay. Five minutes left, Dante. Now we should be able to. Put the hand Here? in. Yeah. My hand. Yeah, you can do it. I suppose if I must. I don't remember the exact sequence of events for Queen Sonium, so this isn't gonna be like a cakewalk for the entire game. I'm especially gonna get tripped up during one of the right later ones. Oh, I've seen a boss character like this before. <laughs> Boxes in the way too. We do not have time to move each one. If only we could use that crane. All right, one down, three to go. Let's see. Okay, that part's cut off. someone there they might not answer uh. a warehouse door uh let's listen I hear a dull impact at regular intervals Jesus a door to the warehouse uh let us Go in. Dangerous. Be careful. Ooh, control panel. Is this some kind of input a fighting game combo? <laughs> the one that is difficult for humans to input? Yeah, the pretzel motion. Yeah, the GH raging combo. <laughs> sure, that's who. Fine. Just be quiet. No, wait. Inputting that sequence of commands with the lever shaped like this. I think you can do it. It is a dream. You could do it. I'll try. Oh, 
Oh, moved. Ring out! That's a KO! I keep having to hear that stock stab sound. Um, I guess let's go back in through here. Okay, um, let's, let's try writing it. Not that I am against it, but- Can you not climb? I don't see any place to get a hold. Oh, that did nothing. Okay. Three minutes, Dante. Um... Thanks, Ryan, see if I can burn it on this warehouse door. Not a good idea, that burns like 40 seconds in there. Uh, what about the box? Wooden box. No, that's worse. There's gotta be something that I can... A warehouse? No. Dude, at this point I'm actually wasting time just by walking around, but... I also have a fucking times four time aid, so I'd rather not have that yeah, what about concrete fragments? Okay, cool. Yeah, I, 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 I can get 20 seconds of concrete. Are you okay? I wanna go home. It's okay. Don't push yourself. Just give it another shot, okay? You can do it. Stop it! You trying to be nice makes me wanna cry. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, two minutes, Dante. Hurry. It does involve the crane, if I recall. Or at least, I'm sorry, the box near it. Can we push it? Oh shit, I didn't use the timing. Oh well. No use. It is either stuck to the ground, or its cargo is extraordinarily heavy. Or you're just weak. Or your instructions are bad. Or you're just lazy. Or your breath smells like garbage. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Let's throw something. How about? Huh? She tried it. I hit it, but nothing happened. Yeah. Okay, we got one more key exhaust here. Which, also, I have a minute left. Uh... Oh boy. Tackle. There is no point doing this by force. If we are going to move it, we have to find another way. You have one minute left. What was, wait, what other option do we have here? Oh, for punch. Okay. Yeah, we, we exhausted both of them there. Uh, unless we have to go back. Yeah, this is when we were at before, which might be it. Maybe. Do you know what? Just in case. I may as well, because I'll probably restart at this point. Uh. Just in case, let's may as well give it our best effort.
Yeah. Um, okay. Nope. Okay. Uh... Uh, let's actually avoid... You know what? Nah, let's go back to the beginning and do that. I'll skip the... <laughs> Fucking the rapid stab. Okay, so... Let's try that again. Uh, no point taking the forklift. Let's go ahead and... Uh, wow, I'm having like a... Having a brain moment. Oh, right. The We do have to take the forklift. And a drive forklift. it off into the cliff. Which... Roger that. Mysterious. That way we burn the uh, the A negative portal. timing, and now we can put our hand in. That gets us past the first lock, I think. Yep. Okay. Five minutes left, Doctor. A door to the where? Go in. Is this a Okay, cool. Yeah, well, we've got quite a bit of time knocked off, but at the very least we're in a much better state than we were before. And we know that the uh, box isn't doing anything. Uh, do I, before we have more time, let's... Let's knock. No response. Even if there was someone there. Okay, yeah, same one as the other doors. But we have a, we have a 10 second, so... Oh yeah, we still have that. Oh, okay, it's, wow, we'll let us interact with it. Okay, there goes my plan. Pieces. Let's investigate. It is the same material that, though I am unsure why it fell from the sky. Or... So things that go through that portal come out super size. Yeah, I'm surprised there's no added portal through there. Yeah, and there's still nothing on that side. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. Oh. What? Let's oh, knock. Is it? No response. Even if there was someone there. A warehouse door. Oh, whoops. Don't tell me. Is it a panty snatcher? <laughs> Oh, I'm a, I'm a fucking oh, idiot. What's this? Edible seaweed made this way was thought to be a delicacy for nobles during the Heian era. Nobody needs to hear your superfluous narration. I want to know more. What was he cooking?
the box hanging from the crane in the way now? Was there something under the wooden box? Let's just go back and lift it up for now. Also, yeah, it's really weird that, that you can't just, uh... What is this? Yeah, uh, yeah cause there, there, was a, there was a crack that you could have slipped by. Um... Oh! I got smaller! If you got any smaller, you'd be as flat as a surfboard. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well. Yeah, we're not looking for that. We yeah, we already need that part. You have one minute left. A warehouse. Well, I may as well enter. Delivery! Is this some Cut it really close to the wire. Uh... May as well try the input fun game combo again. I didn't use the timey, did I? No. Got it. Okay, I did. I did. Okay, good. It's a control. You know what? <laughs> let's just let's just get to be on the safe side. Aware. Delip. Is this some? Understood. Okay, we did it. Good. Bye. <laughs> Like in Dream Irish doesn't even acknowledge it. It appears Iris was saved. Barely. That shadow must be. Yeah. Okay, cool. Iris was in the Somnium earlier. Yes, we saw. An unidentified figure tried to stab Iris to death. And Date and Iba. Hmm. Who is that figure? Probably so himself. True. He could imagine himself in his Somnium that way. Mr. Date's ego algorithm processed the figure into that particular image. What are you people talking about? If you're quite done here, hurry up and release me. Oh. Still no chair joke. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably be in the other end. You killed Iris. I didn't. Are you planning on acting dumb all night? How did you know Iris was stabbed? I heard it. What? On my way to this place, I heard that woman over there talking. Something about a girl who got stabbed in the back. Are you talking about me? Yes, you. I... It's possible that I mentioned a body with stab wounds to the back. Boss. Boss. That's what I'm saying. 
It is impossible to determine now. He very well may not have seen Iris's body. No. He still must have. He was in the warehouse. But does that mean we can conclude for certain that he saw the corpse? Come to think of it, I still haven't heard your explanation for this. Two days ago, you called Shoko Nadami just after 9 p.m. Why? That is a private matter that I will not discuss with you. What's your alibi? What were you doing at 5 p.m. two days ago? Reading a book at home. You can ask my housekeeper or my bodyguards. They will confirm that for you. That does match what the bodyguard said earlier. But they're like family to him. They're not above telling a lie to protect their boss. He's right. I've been telling you I don't know anything. That's impossible. I saw Iris in your dream. You have to have some memory of her. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. I want to beat so over the head with that thing. Ah! I see. Apparently you need your dosage increased. Take your meds, take your meds. Shinjuku. What I would give to be trapped in there is Raika. <laughs> You're getting a rest warrant. Are you kidding me? You know that what we find in Somnium can't be submitted as evidence in court. Besides, we don't even know for sure if that figure was so. You said it was. I said that it's probably him. Um, excuse me. I'm right here. I can hear everything you're saying. I don't care. What about CSI? No, nothing yet. They arrived a while ago, but that warehouse is owned by Okira Fishery. I know. Iva. Can you check to see if it's the Okiyora we know? Searching. I saw it on the monitor. Iba saving Iris as she was being stabbed. Of course, since you and Iba are one and the same, it's like you saved her, Date. But that was just a dream. Saving her insomnium won't save her now. Damn. I'm sorry. We can't avert the e-girl's death. Okay, I'll stop saying that. The subject of the sink remembers certain persons or objects that appear in Samuel. But they might not have a clear form. Our dreams are sometimes vague or unclear after all. Yeah. Even the subject of the dream themselves. I told you earlier that the sinker experiences the dream from the perspective of an observer. That is why the person creating the dream can appear within it. But perhaps they do not have an objective view of themselves, like a mirror or picture. Perhaps he's never watched himself on television. Rare for a politician, but not unheard of. He lacks that objective picture of himself. He remains stoic and unattached despite his position of power. I find that quite powerful. To be able to put your ego aside and see yourself as God sees you is an ability many charismatic people share. He's just sitting right there hearing all of this. He may not have a rational, objective assessment of himself. So, even if this figure is ambiguous, it could be so. Indeed. Alright, what else you got for me? 
How does thinking work? During we'll the wait sink, for that. The sinker's consciousness, or ego, is brought into the subject's somnia. They enter the subconscious mind, or more accurately, sink into it. At this time, the sinker's memories are left in their original body. Picture an egg. The ego is the egg yolk that goes into the subject's brain. True, he is completely fucking out of it. <laughs> the sinker's memories are the whites which remain in the shell. The sinker, or rather the sinker as their pure ego, experiences the subject's somnium. But to be precise, it is not only ego. When synced, a modicum of memory data does get sent into the subject's brain. Imagine separating an egg yolk from its whites. No matter how you try, some of the egg whites will always stick to the yolk. This is just like that. Imagine the human brain is being made up of two elements. Memory and algorithmic structure. The former is preferable because the latter can be problematic. It can output things based on the inputs it is given. To make this easier to understand, compare this to a computer. I'd, l I'd love a pseudoscience. <laughs> Memory is We're the official data to stored on a hard disk. The algorithm is the program. This program controls everything from higher cognitive functions to primitive instinct. This program is what creates the phenomenon of consciousness. In short, it is your ego algorithm. What you call your mind. Recognition, cognition, consciousness. All of these processes are incomprehensible without the ego algorithm. However, the Wadjet system is revolutionizing the way we think about consciousness. The Wadjet system controls my core programming. Using Wadjet, we could map the neural the circuitry world. of the human brain. And we discovered a specific circuit that is key to the phenomenon of consciousness. However, we human beings are still unable to fully grasp it. It's far too complicated. But even if we don't understand it, we can still use it. You don't have to understand electromagnetism to use a microwave oven. The Wadjet system is how we are able to extract the sinker's consciousness. That is what makes sinking possible. Oh, uh, cool. Date, the investigation team is... This oh, is Date from me. Abyss. What happened? Hey, sorry to call you out of the blue. Something we want to check. It's now a good time. Sure, what is it? You said you found a body at Okura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The one at Ariake? Warehouse District? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Huh. Okay. Why? What happened? It's uh, not here. Ah, shit. What's not there? We searched all over the warehouse. We didn't find any bodies. The only time that Iba has <laughs> shut down. No proof. What do you mean there's no body? Yeah, we looked everywhere, but nothing. Date, I am not doubting you. However, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I saw it. I know I saw it. I saw Iris's body with my own right eye. Hmm. Then perhaps Good someone phrasing. moved the body between the time we left and CSI arrived. No, there's another possibility. There is? Hey, the e girl's alive. D Date? Iris. W what are you doing? Barging in without ringing the doorbell? Oh shit, Mizuki's here too. Oh, you see, 
Mizuki ended up staying at my place. Um, something wrong? The world... ...changed. <laughs> Dot is referring to my VNs. <laughs> Iba and I saved Iris during the sink yesterday. She wasn't killed. True, but that was only a dream. Maybe the dream changed reality. Impossible. Then how else would you explain it? Iris came back to life. <laughs> they, hit, they hit the Pentagon. They hit the fucking Pentagon. <laughs> Turn on TV, it doesn't matter which channel. <laughs> Alright, time for another round of investigating everything in Boss's room. Only money rained down the sky. Yeah. <sighs> if only I could control you with a remote. God, I wish that were me. Make you do this. Make you do that. God, I. Anyways, keep going. I've been wondering which balls are bigger. Yours, or this soccer ball? I'll call it the soccer ball. The soccer ball, obviously. <laughs> I can't believe it's not a raccoon. What? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <sighs> that song used to be copyrighted, you know? But now it's public domain and I can sing it to my heart's content. Don't you love it? Yes, we love the public domain. If not just see Richard Rat suffer. So the darts board has all these holes and the tip of the dart goes in, right? It's kind of sexual, don't you think? God damn it. I do not understand. What is sexual about it? You don't want to know. <laughs> Where should I put old Jack here? I thought his name was Phil. <laughs> I sleep with a different one every night. They're so fluffy. Oh, body pillow. I'm really, I'm really hoping Nirvana Initiative has rooms as like filled with dumb bullshit as Boss's room here. Hell, just bring Boss's room back, but have have just like double the amount of stuff for no reason. Did you ever used to play with these rulers like a gun when you were in elementary school? Fuck. Ah, oh, goddamn it! I'm, I've been called out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any memories from back then. Remember? I used to do that all the time. God damn it. We should go skiing. Hmm? That was out of nowhere. Is that a no? Of course it is. We're in the middle of an investigation. What? You don't want to go night skiing on my bunny hills? Good lord. I will not allow such scandalous behavior. I was just kidding. What are you, jealous? You know, the kanji for chair comes out to strange mushroom. Makes me think of a man's strange mushroom, if you know what I mean. You lost me. Seriously, is that the only thing you can think about right now? Under no circumstances are you allowed to look under this rug. You understand? What have you got under there? What did she mean by this? 
Consider it a good luck charm, so you don't drown when you sink. God. I'm disappointed. Grandpa, answer me, Grandpa. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's November. <laughs> Good to have on hand. Oh, it changed. <laughs> Whips. Oh. Oh, we can't talk to ourselves. Hey, Date, who's cuter? The Matroshka or Iba? He's gonna say Matroshka, isn't he? First one. <laughs> I will carve out your insides and turn you into a Matroshka. You're proving his point. All right, let me just. Uh, oh, right, the coffee. There's something about a man who likes his coffee black. Black coffee puts hair on your chest. Does it now? And somewhere lower. I understand. You are referring to Date's leg hair. It is quite prominent. Curse knowledge. Date and Iba saved Iris and Somnium, and that changed the history of the real world? Hmm. Well, I guess it's not impossible. Wait, what? Well, I. I guess it's not impossible. Okay, I didn't hear the, the im at the beginning. That isn't what you said yesterday. That was then, this is now. A woman's mind changes with the phases of the moon, you know. No, it doesn't. <laughs> anyway, I believe in Date. I trust him more than anyone else in Abyss. Congressman Sejima is suspicious in more ways than one. Exhibit A. Three days ago, so-called Shoko Nadami's phone. We still don't know exactly why. He only told us it was meant to be private. Exhibit B. Sosajima was at Okiura Fishery Warehouse last night, but he didn't inform us of this. There must be something he doesn't want us knowing. Exhibit C. So was an Iris's Somnia. Oh yeah, <laughs> so. <laughs> I, I forgot they never fixed that error. Uh, for some reason, uh, Allegra Clark had the wrong uh, line read when they uh, when they went through the script. I'm and I'm assuming they just never caught it. It's weird. Dreams are constructed from memories. Yet the good congressman denies he ever knew Iris. Where is so now? I sent him home yesterday. You released him. What was I supposed to do? We can't hold him without solid proof. What we saw with Iris hasn't happened yet. In any case, we have to speak with him again. Or do we have to? Oh, I talk with politicians. Stranger things have been known to happen. Two days ago, Date found Iris's frozen corpse in Mizuki's Somnium. It must have been a prophecy. Boss. There's a lot of stuff in this world that can't be explained by science. Okay, yeah, you don't have anything new. Okay. Uh, about Renju. Mizuki went to Bloom Park three nights ago. She was prompted by a Nile message from Renju. There are three possibilities. 
One, Renju killed Shoko, or was an accessory to the murder. Two, Renju was threatened or blackmailed into luring Mizuki to the scene. Three, the culprit used Renju's phone to send the Nile message. In any case, the motive is still unknown. We need to talk to Renju. Renju? Where did you go? Okay, uh... Is there anything that we're missing? I don't know, I think Iba is more to talk about. Duh. A dream changing reality. It is reality. absurd. Not possible. Dreams are figments of the imagination. An incident which took place entirely in your mind cannot have any bearing on the considerate. If you were to find money in your dream, does your bank account balance go up in reality? I wish. If you were to be attacked by aliens in your dream, does a swarm of UFOs invade Earth? I wish. Never mind. But at the warehouse, I... You must have been hallucinating. That's fucked up. Within Mizuki's Somnium, you saw Iris's frozen corpse. It is affecting your mental state. Last night, you were so phased by it that you couldn't speak. If it bothers you to this degree, why not go talk to Iris? Her cell phone is on. I can trace her via GPS. She is currently somewhere in the Lemniscate building. I have done some research. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras, the same Okiuras we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. The one time Renju does not have direct ownership of something, and it's the one thing that has his name tacked onto it. In short, it. Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other well, Renju's family name, but you get the point. But it can't be a coincidence. It certainly is suspicious. I would suggest searching the warehouse again. You may be able to discover why Iris was resurrected. You asked Mama at Marble for information regarding Renju Okiura, correct? It is possible she may have something for you by now. We can talk to Iris's mom as well. She was Renju's classmate, right? Iba told me about her. Okay, in summary. There were four people I should talk to. So Sejima, Iris and Hitomi Sagan, and Mama. And I need to check the warehouse one more time. We have many avenues of investigation. Let's get moving. All right. Yeah, we have a lot. Um. Let's do just one of these, and then we'll, we'll call it, because I realized I've been streaming for six hours. I did not know I was running for that long. Uh, well, I don't feel like talking to the politician. Let's go over to Zogon Residence first. I apologize for yesterday. I arrived uninvited. No, I'm grateful. Thanks to you, Mizuki has her voice back. No, I didn't do anything. Oh, okay, wait. We gotta get the shoebox. Oh, he didn't sniff it that time. Like a ski resort with no skiers. Yeah, that certainly is an analogy. Um... Yep, that's certainly a refrigerator. What the sofa? Yeah, there isn't much in terms of uh, dialogue. 
How to handle a monster parent. <laughs> I've been wondering about that picture. Iris drew it when she was 12. That's you on the left and Iris in the middle, correct? Yes. And who's on the right? The man I was dating at the time. It was only for three months, but... I met him about six years ago. Oh! Have you been to the Kume Shrine in the Minato district? I was praying there one day, and I heard a voice. Well, more like a groan. Behind the shrine. I saw a man sitting on the ground. He was bleeding badly from his stomach. I took out my phone to call an ambulance, but he grabbed my wrist and he held me. And then he, he kissed me. Romantic. I was shocked, but when I stared into his eyes, then I heard footsteps and then a bunch of men yelling. They were looking for him. When the voices and footsteps faded, he let me go. Don't call an ambulance and don't call the cops. I knew he had to be a criminal. So I took him to an underground clinic I knew. You took him to a mob doctor? <laughs> Fucking based. Renju's friend. I only met him once. There's more. Even though we had our first kiss seconds after meeting each other, it took a long time before I got to see him again. The first time we held hands was when we watched a horror movie together. The first time I took his arm was when we went to a haunted house in an amusement park. <laughs> But I wasn't the one who grabbed him. A zombie jumped out and scared us, and he clung onto my arm. Goals. He had that cute side to him. And I was falling in love. Goals. <laughs> Our second kiss was in the car. It's cliche, I know. But we drove around at night, looking at all the lights. We parked our car near a warehouse and kissed. I don't think we ever said I love you, but we both knew. We were getting closer and closer. I introduced him to Iris about a month after I first met him. Iris Tiny never had a figure in her life before. She warmed up to him immediately and treated him like a real dad. From then on, it was always the three of us together. We would go to the beach, to the river, the zoo, the amusement park. Going to barbecues with another person was a new experience for me and Iris. Everything felt so fresh. Every day was so exciting. Oh, sorry. You, you wanted to make Okonomiyaki one day. He was working with the hot plate. It was ridiculous. He was trying to flip one, and it flew up in the air and landed right on my head. Iris saw the whole thing and laughed and laughed. I hadn't seen her laugh like that in a long time. I was having so much fun that I put an Okonomiyaki on their heads, too. Flop, flop. I added the bonito flakes and mayo and sauce. At this point, there was no going back. Eggs flew, flour going everywhere. The room was not a pretty sight. After our battle, we laughed like crazy. We were rolling around on the floor. So Iris decided to draw it. It's nostalgic. That's adorable. I've... God. But those days didn't last. Six years ago, in November, a man with a gun broke into our house. Fortunately, Iris wasn't home at the time, but my boyfriend was. That's why the gunman came. He wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill him and he would never stop. He pulled the trigger. I tried to protect him. The bullet hit me, but the police arrived. They were both arrested and incarcerated. Why was he after your boyfriend? Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. I don't know the details. But it was awful. So he became a target for underworld criminals. I don't know exactly why, but I know that he betrayed them in some way. May I ask you something? Of course. I had heard that that incident was a random break-in gone wrong. Oh, that's not true. I lied about it at the time because of Mizuki. Mizuki is Iris's friend. If she found out, Iris would find out too. I didn't want Iris to know. Know what? that I was dating a criminal. He was her father figure. Iris looked up to him. If she found out about his past... There we go. I put Iris through so much. I was 19 and single when she was born. 
People didn't take kindly to that. But Iris was such a fighter. She always protected me. I remember, one time at the nursery, some of the other mothers were talking about me. Iris ran up to them and said, Don't talk about my mommy! <laughs> I'm supposed to be the mother, but it's Iris who's always protecting me. They died when I was 17. Jesus. I was an orphan, and my relatives lived far away. It might have taken me in, but I was already in my second to last year of high school. It wasn't a good idea for me to move that late. So I decided to stay here, by myself. And take care of Iris. Yes. Oh. But Renju would help sometime. <laughs> Today's a holiday. I suppose there's never a day off for a detective. Oh, but you aren't a detective, right? Technically, yes. But I still deal with crime. I see. Today is a holiday. You forgot too, didn't you? Where is Renju? You asked me that yesterday. What? You asked me that yesterday. Right from the hospital? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Wow. <laughs> I did not... I, I must have just forgotten about that then. It was always just me and her. Vacations, barbecues, zoos, amusement parks. Just me and her. Oh, that reminds me. When Iris was five, there was a children's theater show in Bloom Park. It was called Milky Moon. It was about girls as magical space rangers and such. She loved singing and dancing. Even as a kid, whenever she heard music, her body would start moving. It was a quirk of hers. And that's and how she became an e-girl. Toward the end, when all the Milky Moon girls were dancing to the ending song, Iris climbed up onto the stage and danced with them. I tried to stop her before. I grabbed her arm and tried to get her to sit, but before I knew it, she was up there, dancing. And everyone was so excited. Even I was dancing by the end of it. When it was over, she had the biggest smile on her face. Mama, you're a good dancer. That's the kind of girl she was. Whenever she sees someone playing music on the street, she'll run up and join them. Right then and the music at the train station, the crosswalk beeping, even at convenience stores. When their little chime played, she would start dancing. It almost got her into trouble once. She was on the jungle gym and a truck drove by. It was playing loud music out the windows. She climbed up to the top and started dancing, but she lost her balance and fell. She fractured her leg pretty oh. badly. It was on a Sunday, and it was hard to find an open emergency care. I was carrying her on my back, running and running through town. I could still hear her crying. Will I still be able to dance, Mommy? Can I still dance? She cried and cried into my shoulder. It was the only time she ever cried so much. Uh, no, um, that's not true. There was one other time. What was the other time? Six years ago, I was the victim of a shooting. Yeah. After the surgery, Iris came in running. And she was sobbing. then I would protect her no matter what Iris is everything to me the sheer effort she puts into being a mother more important than my own and it's, it's not even her birth child what a legend all right summarize Date we can't spend time reminiscing we have to get moving yeah okay uh so yeah, that's so wow, that's like ju almost just broke six hours. Uh, probably a little bit more, including a little intro uh, from before. But yes, uh, we're gonna hold off for now. Uh, we're if I had to take a wild guess, about halfway through this route. I don't know exact. I don't know if that's entirely accurate, but this is just you know my my recollection. So we will hold off on that. Uh, and probably continue same time tomorrow, uh, 6 p.m. 
not six, uh, three, three p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if I have to change it, I will. I will give an update on Twitter, and just you know, give that ping. Uh, but yeah, thank you everyone for stopping by. Glad I was able to, uh, you know, glad I was able to get this done. And yeah, I hope everyone has a good one. Take care.